Okay. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Sailor Moon solos Naruto. I can't comment on that. Uh, no late Kage jokes tonight. Okay. But all right. So it's uh, six and I. Uh, hello. Hello. Sage Kabuto greater than White Mask Obito. Easy. That's cap. Damn. Easy. Yeah. That's like double cap. Oh, also, I don't know if y'all see this scan, this godlike scan, bro. But uh, you see, once Earth Grudge and Fear are invoked, Kakazu has no blind spots. You see this? But you ever gonna go to a Yu-Gi-Oh regionals? Yeah, I've been to Yu-Gi-Oh regionals before. Muffin amp? No, nah, but I do have the uh, kettle cooked chips with me. So, um, new. All right. This guy says a Swagkage stream. What have we done to deserve such a blessing? I appreciate the kind words, but your name is Necro Lollicon. I'm going to need you to change it. What? <laughs> bro. What? Yeah, I don't no, know. No, you got to get off the stream. <laughs> Lee off the red chili perk versus the five kage. So, hi kage. Are you talking about like, like Jesse Pinkman chili pepper meth, but like perk edition? I think he's talking about Choji's pill. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so hold on. Let's, uh, do the spinner. So, also, new rules. Um, you guys don't necessarily have to ask about Naruto. But if I haven't seen it, uh, do bear in mind that I won't really be able to argue for it. So tr like, don't waste it. But you guys can ask like, who would win fucking um, like Goku or like Michael Jordan or uh, what's Yo, better, what? Burger King what? or Chipotle? Okay, Matt McCleskey, Itachi versus Kakashi and any versions you want to use. All right, looks like that one is taking priority since it's $50. And any version you want to use. I mean, let's see. You can't. So long as it's not DMS. Uh, he said any version, bro. Okay. Well, then I'll use uh, Perfect Susano Itachi from Storm 4. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, that's unquantifiable. But he's got the Yadimir. That's all you really need. Yeah, but he can't. I mean, Kakashi can phase through it. No, he can't. That's ninjutsu. No, it doesn't repel. No, because it's like it's a ninjutsu that affects Kakashi. It can't, like, repel a dimensional gate. I, it looks like we don't even. It looks like we don't even have to spin for this one. It looks like we've already picked our side. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so yeah, here, wait, wait, wait. Let me uh, let me open up the timer. <clears throat> uh, leave. Yes. Um, zero. 30. Okay. All right, go. Wait. Wait, hold, wait what? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Are we doing the timer shit again? Yeah. We're going to have to oh, go through a okay. lot. Okay, okay. Hold on. Run it back, run it back, run it back. All right. Three, two, one, go. Um, we only activate store of physical means and with 
Uh, the honor mirror being a spiritual weapon, the physical aspect for Kamui to phase through things will never exist, so it won't ever phase through it. So Kakashi can't phase through the honor mirror, and since the also Tosca blade is not um, physical, he can't phase through that either, so he gets pierced by that and negged. And um, Itachi has the Sharingan, you can't blitz the Sharingan. Itachi's ever been blitzed before, so he can't prove he would be blitzed by anything. And that's why Itachi would be Kakashi. With perfect society, okay. of course. So, Kakashi has also never been blitzed before, so you can't prove he would be blitzed by anything. Also, he has the feat of blitzing Kaguya, which uh, Itachi doesn't. So, um, Kakashi just has a better argument for speed than Itachi does. Uh, also, Kakashi does not physically exist when he sucks himself into the Kamui dimension. Uh, his body just isn't really there anymore, so he wouldn't physically be there for the Yadamir to repel him, so he would be able to go into Itachi's perfect Susano, suck him up into Kamui, and Itachi would die in Kamui. Okay, so, poll time. Who y'all got? Me, the correct answer, or six, <laughs> the wrong answer. Uh, Ghosty donated for... Oh, wait. Let me start the timer for 30 seconds. Uh, Ghosty said, would you ever react here? Bro, you are getting smoked. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> well, it was only 52 votes anyway, but... I mean, it was Kakashi versus Itachi. Yeah, I know. It was DMS, DMS Kakashi <laughs> versus Itachi. <laughs> Ghosty says, would you ever react to your old vids? No, I might. Um, jump into a Minecraft uh, chasm. I need to find the old like countdown clock thing. But uh, it looks like I did win. Okay. Nagato $75. Nagato versus Itachi Edo. Okay. I think we're... Do I... Do I cap this at 30 seconds? Or no? Nah. Bro, there's no way you can argue for Itachi or Sonagato in 30 seconds. Yeah, let me see. Um, I gotta find 30 second countdown. It was the one I used last time. Where is it? Oh, yeah. This is the one. This one is heat. So, um, now here's the thing. Broccoli versus I'm Sanji. spinning for this one. Because this will be Spin. interesting. Oh, yeah. If I get Itachi and you get Nagato. Yo, thanks all for all the uh, donations, by the way. Y'all are uh, mad generous. I appreciate it. Also, by the way, real quick, before we get started with Nagato versus Itachi. Um, so, I have another thing. I'm just saying that I have another thing so I don't forget it because I have ADHD. But first, before the other thing. Today is Naruto's anime's 20th anniversary, so, you know, uh, imagine that we're all in an auditorium round of applause. Um, you know, very cool. Thank you, Kishimoto and Studio uh, Periat. But, um, other thing, do you guys want the 30 timer, the 30 second timer limit for Six and I, or not? Time to do the poll. Uh, 30 seconds... Or what should, I think we should time limit this. So what should the other be? Like two minutes? Or just, no, nah, I'll just say unlimited. Maybe like a so, 10 yeah. minute conversation. But like one where we're both allowed to just go back and forth. I'll ask y'all. No timer. All right. It seems for the most part like there, it's a no timer type situation yeah, okay no Ooh, timer is getting smoked by unlimited right now uh so also coco puffs real quick in advance you said rock lee versus sanji i've read like east blue and that's it so <laughs> <laughs> I, I can take sanji huh i can take sanji but i don't know how to debate it <laughs> bro it's simple bro all it is is you argue Rock Lee has better fees. Then what? Whatever I show for Sanji. I guess you would have to go first. That's fine. 
Somebody donated 10 for Academy Naruto versus Magic Johnson pre HIV nerf. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but Coco Puffs, if you want to change it from Rock Lee versus Sanji to something else for the 50, you can. If not, that's fine. But all right, so I'm a spin for Nagato Itachi. Well, also, spin, no spin. Are you going to do a poll for it? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, a hundred dollars? C E Rock what? Lee versus C E Sasuke? So what is C E? Tuning exam, so what's Oh yeah, sorry, my yeah, no, I was joking. <laughs> it was it was a joke. It was a joke. Um okay, so it's spend time. So after this, immediately we're going into Rock Lee versus Sasuke. Um Also, hold up back to you, uh six Batman six. All right, so uh, time to see who I get. <laughs> I got Itachi. Bro, you wanted to do that spin, bro. If you want to do 12 to 3, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with doing Itachi. Uh, coin flip. Uh, like so six versus heads or tails, you're always heads, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you start with uh, why Nagato wins. Let's. See. Oh Lord, man. Um. Okay. Nagato got three v one in their initial encounter. Banger. And that's pretty much the only reason why he lost. Yeah, I mean that's kind of a banger. You know, you might be on to something, my man. <laughs> I forgot we're not doing the 30 second timer, so we can just keep. To yeah, so what other arguments you got for Nagato? I'll start with that one. You can get past that one. I'll introduce another one. Uh, yeah, Naruto and B were of no consequence to that fight. Like, Nagato all. They held with Jibaku Tensei. Huh? They also. They, they held with Jibaku Tensei, and they kept three of Nagato's arms occupied and his attention occupied while Itachi sideswiped him. Yeah, but they didn't really need to keep his attention occupied because he had the extra eyes. Like, the fact that Itachi was able to blitz those eyes and then blitz Nagato before he realized what was well, going on. Well, he cut the him. eyes off before he hit Nagato, so... Yeah, but the fact that he was even able to do that, you know... Like but just because you have the extra cannon, eyes, like, the eyes are obviously there, right? Like, he can see through them. He has the extra eyes. That doesn't mean he's yeah, focused on them, Yeah, but he still them, knew right? that, like, his Itachi two His two his ultimate way. goals are right in front of him. He doesn't know Itachi's coming his way. That's the point of cutting off the thing and using blind spots. So, the thing is, right, Nagato and B, or Naruto and B, before the Chibaku Tensei, were of no consequence. We can agree on that. Yeah, they're, they're a consequence in a conventional sense. Not They might not have been in a fighting sense, but yeah. since they were there occupying Nar Nagato, um, you know. Oh, East Blue Luffy versus East Blue Zoro is what Coco Puffs wants instead, I believe, by the way. So, okay. Um, okay. But, um, see, though, like, Itachi can just Totsuka Blade Nagato from the Chibaku Tensei, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. How how long is the Tosca blade? Prove it will reach that far. I don't know. Prove it wouldn't reach that far. No, you prove it would. What the, you just made the claim. Prove it will reach that far. Well, Itachi's not that high off the ground. He seemed to prove figure that. out how that was uh, completely Sensei circular. was working pretty quickly. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he can counter it himself. What do you mean? Why not? Because he okay, he figures out the counter, and then he's like, "Okay, well, we all need to hit it as hard as we can." Yeah, but it's like like the narrative argument; it's being narrative and narratively implied, especially if you reference Itachi's speech afterwards. That like, bro, I'm gonna get clipped yeah, this, so exactly, hard on bro. This the speech, the speech is. I'm gonna get afterwards. clipped so hard on this, and people are gonna be like, <laughs> "See, Swag's Uchiha biased." Swag's <laughs> that I'm arguing for Itachi. But actually, we like think the opposite side. Yeah, you just no. shouldn't have spun, bro. No, I know, cause I'm I'm actually Team Nagato on this, and Six is actually Team Itachi. No, but the narrative argument is that so Itachi immediately tells Naruto that he can't do everything by himself. Um, that's afterward. That's after a, a different yeah. So scenario. it's so he's like setting up for that though. 
Like no, but it's, it's after a different there. scenario that he says that. It's when Naruto actually says that he wants to do everything himself. Yeah, but beforehand I mean, no, it's, it's just Itachi. It's beforehand, back. beforehand, what Itachi's trying to teach Naruto is that you have to be calm and analyze, and that every Jutsu has a weakness. Yeah. Then after that, he teaches him about the teamwork thing. So that's not really a good argument. Uh, also, um, so what you were just saying in um, Itachi versus Kakashi, uh, Itachi would just Yadami or Chibaku Tensei. Um, don't know if it could do that because it's the Yadamir, it has to, it is a ninjutsu, but the core of the ninjutsu is that little black hole. So if the Yadamir can't get to that black hole because it's covered by a rock or whatever, then you can't nah, say he I would, would negate. just nullify the gravitation. You, you don't, you don't know that. The gravitation is born from the ninjutsu, but the gravitation is not also, chakra based. Uh, Itachi just straight up like blitzes Nagato too, so I don't even think he gets time. Yeah, I know, I know. You went over that over. You went over that earlier, and I said Nagato was distracted by Naruto and B. One second, let me pull up the chapter. I obviously can't show the whole chapter on stream, but uh, you can. Nah, no way. No yeah, way you, you just... can't show new chapters. So like you know how viz lets the last three chapters of borto be free oh yeah like whatever they are yeah you can't show those but you can show the, the other shit i don't know bro i feel like there are stronger arguments for itachi but they're just not they're just not coming to me for some reason i don't know maybe i should put the poll up now maybe it's because you haven't been you know taking his side for three years in a row I don't know. You might be spitting about Nagato. Maybe he just like absorbed the Susano. Let me see. Nah, bro. Itachi, like, fucking. Okay, no. So, for my argument, Itachi blitzes the fucking, um, like, chameleon, like, in the middle of, like, moving to Nagato. It's, like, so fast. Like, he's, like, mid movement. You, you don't know that. It is. It's all on one page. It's being conveyed as happening extremely quickly. Yeah, it does happen extremely quick. They're all extremely quick, but that doesn't mean it happened at the same time. And if it if he did destroy the chameleon's eyes while moving towards Nagato, it just makes defeat worse. Also, because then there's a shorter there's a shorter amount of time for Nagato to react to the summoning's eyes being cut off. But even then, let's say Nagato did react, what would you want him to do in that situation? He's crippled and he's holding Naruto and B, so there's extra weight on him. Yeah, but he has extra. He could Shinra Tensei there. He just got blitzed. He couldn't even Shinra Tensei. Well, and he Shinra Tensei through things that aren't his arm. No, I mean, yeah, no, both of his it arms just, it's are omnidirectional. Being it's omnidirectional. Shinra Tensei. Yeah, not not. Well, Shibaku if he did that, Tensei, he would Shinra he would Tensei. push away he would push away both Naruto and B. And then even then, at the same time, he was already using three Couldn't other Renegade abilities. Couldn't he make it like abilities. around them though, so it doesn't? Because he didn't like, really fucking know. kill like all the. Path but 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 aside aside from that aside from that he was already using three Renegon abilities so that might be his limit and he just yeah can't but use that's sport conjecture. At the same time. It's conjecture, but it's something you can't prove. Because you, you're saying he could have used Shinra Tensei. No that's wait, also he ha no because he uses Chibaku Tensei with all of those Renegon abilities active. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he still has the Asura. No, he doesn't because he he stops he stops you doing the Soul Pull, so that's one that went away. Hmm. No, actually, 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 you're going to have to retract your whole argument here because I found a, a minor error with what you said. He actually was using four soul pool, animal, king of hell, and Asura. So that's okay. four at once. Eh? And you said three. So Ooh, you're kind of, so? you kind of, you kind of so, so then you can't, so then you goofy, can't prove he could use five at once. Typo, kind of goofy, so then you bro. can't, you, you can't prove he could chat. use five at once. Get him, chat. <laughs> he made a typo, bro. Anyway, chat, I, I'm sure we all know why that typo doesn't matter. Yeah, prove that he could use five pads at once. Um, mm -hmm. Naruto, I'm pretty sure, says he can use all of them at once.
Okay, show me. Let me see. I'm also pretty sure. All Naruto says is, is that, that all of his all abilities of them are in one body. Yeah, I know. I was yeah. I was trying to do some weasel uh, carbohydrate stuff there. Carbohydrate. <laughs> 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 um. But I mean, no, I think that, I mean, the fact that he's able to use four at once, like surely he'd just be able to use Shinra Tensei. I feel like there's more evidence there than not. So the fact that he didn't. How is there more evidence body. there than not? You can't just say, I feel like, and then move on. How is it? Well, I mean, I he's feel using like all those it. other at the same time. So why not? Why didn't he just stop using Soul Pull and then use Shinra Tensei? He could do that. Well, he didn't know Itachi was coming. Because he got blitzed. Because the summonings were cut. I don't know, bro. The Susan like, the on top, is on top big. Of it would that, be like warp. On top just of that, well, you thought you ground. should be you thought you should be moving faster than sound anyway, but on top of that Yeah, no, but they can still um, hear. He shit was he was already focused on being Naruto sound. and being not when. No, they like hear people coming. Like for, I know there's an example of this, but I don't Cause like the fucking sound effects in the manga also like follow them too. So, and they're also like talking, obviously while sounding and moving. So, what you saying that they're like they have like sound amped speech, but not like sound amped movement? No. Well, I mean, yeah, you could say that, but that's not the argument I'm making. Just because sound occurs doesn't mean they're moving slower than it. But if Itachi's moving towards Nagato, unless it's from really far away where the sound could actually be heard, he should be moving faster than the sound, and the sound doesn't matter. I see something. But then, like, aside, aside from that, anyway, like I said, Nagato has extra weight on him with Naruto and B, yeah. as well as the fact that he has all the, the paths being used, or whatever, how many, what, four? Yeah. He's got all those paths being used. And then he's got his two ultimate goals in front of him because it's Kabuto, right? He wants to get an R to B. So I'd imagine he'd be hyper focused on getting these niggas. Yeah, but then they he just them. grabs them. So I don't know. I think he would just cut his losses and Shinra Tensei them. What do you mean he just grabs them? Like Itachi just grabs them out of Nagato's hands. Well, he cuts his hand off. Yeah. yeah he cuts so his arms point, off and then grabs them. He, Nagato's well, at, getting at that glitched. point. At that point, Nar Nagato had already gotten hit, but it, you're you're missing the argument. Right? So, so I'm saying when Itachi came in and actually hit Nagato, he was hyper focusing on B and well, Naruto. He, he was trying to get them Nagato out. Nagato from the front, and then anyway? yeah, he comes from the side. Yeah, so Nagato should have been able to see it. Just because he can see doesn't mean he can get out the way. Because like I said earlier, yeah, because he's getting he's blitzed. got he's got extra weight on him. No, that doesn't mean that he's got extra weight on him with naruto and b so and no no okay but you said ads. that he could see right so you said he couldn't see earlier like as a rebuttal to the shinra tensei claim that didn't see as a rebuttal to the what about no the, okay when i say can't see in that context and when i say can't see in that context i'm talking about the fact that he's focusing on naruto and b wait like Nah, but like he, I don't know. What? Hold on a sec. No, no, he starts looking up at Itachi. No, I don't he think doesn't. He's focusing on Naruto and B at all. He literally doesn't. And he start can, he up literally Itachi. like looks away from Naruto to grab B anyway, so it doesn't seem to no, be a concern for him. Yeah, he looks away. Look, I'll no, he doesn't. The, right here. No, the 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 which I'm call. No, but the he also starts TV. looking away. He literally him. doesn't. He just sprouts out arms to get him. No, he turns his head. He doesn't. His his head's literally not turned. It is, bro. Bro, literally before this scan you just sent. I know that it shows, look, the, it shows the eye him. looking up. Yeah. No. Yeah. And Nagato not turning, but then Nagato turns to look at B, and then he, he doesn't also turn. turns. He, to bro, look. swag. Literally in the scan, his head is still facing forward. He's also looking over to the side at B when he makes the uh, laser cannon. Okay. So what? B still at that point. But he's this is stupid, bro. Like he's literally looking away from Naruto, so he'd be able to look away from Naruto and B at Itachi when Itachi comes in with his. And he's big looking ass away from Naruto. But he's looking at Susano. another one of his targets. 
Itachi hasn't even been around at this point. And then, like yeah, I said, Itachi you know, he comes obviously in and blitzes he cut, No, he cut off the summoning things. And then, like, you're ignoring this part of the argument that Nagato has extra weight on him. That's not normally there. So, like, even, even if he does react to Itachi, he's still got extra things hindering No, but the movement. extra weight doesn't matter for him activating Shinra Tensei, which he could do. But the Shinra Tensei thing, you can't prove because you can't prove he can activate five abilities at the same time. No, but he just stop using the soul power and use Shinra Tensei instead. Prove that. Though he could, right? Because he Prove can that. use four abilities at once, so he could just turn off the human path and turn on uh, the diva path and use Shinra Tensei. That's still extra time because he has to turn off one. Yeah, ability but it's extra the other. time that he's obviously but not. At, like, but at what point? Blitz, at what point would he realize? Blitz. At what points would he? At what point would he realize Itachi's coming to do that? Yeah, but okay. So let's say Itachi does the same shit Naruto and B did, but with shadow clones, right? Which we know Itachi can make. Okay. Same and shit. He, well, and it, he, well, Nagato isn't interested in Itachi the same way he is being Naruto. Nah, but let's say he uses the shadow clones as a diversion, cuts off the vision of the fucking animal summon, and then just stabs Nagato. Right? Like that. Oh, would work why would I? Why would I just let you say that? Well, because for one, like for one, clones clones are weaker than the original person, right? And Naruto and B weren't able to do that. So if you say you switch him in those positions, not only would Nagato not act the same because he doesn't care as much for Itachi as he does being Naruto, you can't prove the clones would go with that round of attack. No, they don't need to go with that round of attack specifically to act as a diversion so the real Itachi can Totsuka Blade Nagato. When does Itachi use shadow clones in battle for a diversion? Uh, against Kakashi, he explicitly actually does one for a diversion. The exploding one? No, the one that pops up behind uh, Kakashi. That's the real one... Itachi. The exploding one was the diversion there. No, there's wa it's like there's a water clone like in front of him. And then like pops That's up Kakashi's him. water clone. Oh, okay. Itachi only makes one clone. That's the explosion thing. Yeah, so I guess he could use an exploding clone as a diversion. Well, that's not going to do anything to Nagato. He's at a Tensei. Yeah, I know. But the Totsuka Blade that he follows Why up can't he with, just blow it away with Shinra Tensei? Why didn't he just blow Itachi away with Shinra Tensei? Because he was focused on being Naruto. You keep ignoring that part. Yeah, you so can't he ignore focused that part. on blowing away the clone, and then he'd get punched by the Totsuka Blade, which Shinra Tensei wouldn't repel. Prove that. Well, I don't have to prove that that's exactly what would happen. I'm just saying that that's likely. How is it likely? Because if Nagato gets overwhelmed by Naruto, B, and Tachi. Okay, well, first, in order to prove this, we have to prove that Naruto and B were of less consequence than Itachi. I'm pretty sure we agreed on that, at least, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, because, like, they even say, thanks, Itachi, you saved us. So, right. Itachi's clones would be give or take, of an equal or greater threat level than Naruto and B. You can't prove that. Clones don't, like, scale directly to themselves. But they... I, I think that you can reason it. Obviously, you can't prove it, but you can reason it. Because Naruto and B were nothing. Oh. Like, what's, what's the reasoning that his clones would be of equal consequence to Naruto and B? That Itachi himself is way stronger than Naruto and B. Naruto and B can't way do anything. Okay, what do, you, what do you mean by way stronger? Naruto and B can't do anything, and Itachi comes in, blitzes Nagato, and then stabs him with okay, the Okay, well, now, now your argument is completely circular. Because that's what we're arguing over right now, if that would matter. If that would matter as a feat. Like, I agree Itachi's stronger than them. But yeah. then you went over, you're, we're trying to prove right now, if that's actually a feat for Itachi saying he's that much stronger than those two. Mm. Um, I guess we, I really don't feel like going into like all of the fucking out of this fight scaling. I'm trying to keep the scaling internal for this fight because then it'll take fucking forever. But um, what I mean, the out of this fight stuff isn't. Too important. I don't mind it because it's, it's not going to be too no, long. I It'll probably it, be like an extra five here, minutes. Here, you know, it's, it's up to you, though. We've been going mind. for a while. 
I think this has been like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the poll up. Who you got? Me with Itachi or Six with Nagato? I think this was actually pretty good. Either way, yep. it's a dub for me, though. <laughs> oh, somebody said these chips finna piss me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. I'm hungry. That's crazy. Nagato smack any Tachi dumbass. Oh, I thought you had the reverse. What? How did you hear that and think he had it? Nagato? <laughs> so I can't actually expect Itachi to win this? What the hell? I mean, I yeah, I think that Nagato actually wins. Someone said swag a munch. All right, fine, fine. Okay. Kabuki. <laughs> Bring in Kabuki. So we actually had an idea. And if anybody can convince him to come on stream for this, we'll do it. So the debate the poll's been up for a minute, by the way. Huh? The poll's been up for a minute. Okay. Unless you aren't doing 30 seconds at a time. Let me, I mean, you probably won. So I'll give you the dub, even if it changes. But let me go take these chips away for people who still want to vote. <laughs> I'm missing some swag dub. What's up, Draken? Bro, I hate arguing for Nagato, bro. Like, even though, like, I know most people agree Nagato wins. I'm such like a, it's so dishonest to me because I don't actually believe it. Like, I was just making dishonest arguments the whole time. Kind of. Well, like, they were honest in, like, honest to the position, but... They weren't honest to like what I actually believe. So, but it's cool. The whole point of this shit is to you know just do debates that people want. So I don't mind. I would argue for talking. I would pretty much use. The right. um the same argument swag you know, but I have a little bit more evidence for it. No more chips. Okay? Don't have to worry about them anymore. So, all right, yep, Nagato slams Itachi. Sounds good to me. So, <laughs> anyway, did you tell them the uh, Kabuki debate topic or no? No, I didn't. Okay, so the topic would be, and I'm pretty sure Kabuki would not be on our side here. Because I think Kabuki took issue with... A less extreme version of this claim. I don't think Kabuki likes the claim that Nagato, or sorry, that Minato could beat the entire Akatsuki by himself. This debate that Six and I came up with, we can honestly go anybody with this, right? Like anybody that wants to come in. Um, but Kabuki would be funniest. Would be no arms Minato versus the whole Akatsuki. <laughs> um, no, that shit would be fun. But all right, next up, let's do the $100 donation. Uh, Batman has been waiting for long enough. Sasuke versus Lee. I almost put Sasuke versus Lee as one half of the shit. Whoops. Bring back the munchies? Nah. <laughs> all right, bro, please. Okay, I got Sasuke. <laughs> All right, so for this one, I'm pretty sure we're going to go back to 30 seconds. Uh, unless you think we should do a minute since it's like $100. I mean, you can do the poll. I don't matter. I'll do the 30 seconds or the poll. Yeah. All right, one minute or 30 seconds for this. Sasuke slams, I agree. Bring back the crisps blood. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's no way someone from the UK called me blood. <laughs> Talking about crisps. <laughs> All right, one minute. I should I should have figured. Okay, so 
we are going to set it to uh no clear one minute all right and uh, i'm gonna flip a coin okay i am starting um, go ahead I don't want to start with this, though, because it's way easier to win this as Lee when you can, like, rebut the claims. So, I should probably make sure from Batman, though, I think I he agrees that this is final Sasuke versus prelims Lee, right? Because otherwise, yeah, yeah. it's just... That, that's the big debate, yeah. Okay. So, all right, let me go ahead and... Uh, So the um, biggest statement in Sasuke's favor is that, um, well, not the biggest statement, the biggest factor in Sasuke's favor is that there is an actual data book statement that blatantly says he is Gara's strongest opponent. That's all it says. Sasuke is Gara's strongest opponent, period. That would include Lee and anybody else who has fought Gara in the past. Sasuke's base speed is uh, about the same as Weightless Lee's, and we know that Sasuke's Sharingan allows him to react to people who are faster than him. So uh, even if Lee opens the gates, which he wouldn't be able to do for long, Sasuke would be fine. Uh, one Chidori and Lee is done. But again, Sasuke is Gara's strongest opponent. Okay, go for it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga just says six. What are you saying? That was swag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, FTB Slayer, hold on, hold you're on. getting banned. Damn. He just said balls a billion times. Okay. Uh, All right, three. What did you say? Like, that book statement? Okay, okay. One, go. Now, while the data books are written by Kishimoto, the statement Swag's referencing is from Data Book 1, which only covers up the chapter 119. Lee actually has a fight after this that can scale him over Sasuke when he fights Kimimaro after Kimimaro beats up a whole bunch of QB Amp's uh, Naruto's. After beating up these QB Amp Naruto's, Kimimaro says about Lee that he is much stronger than the others, implying that Lee is obviously over this QB Amp Naruto. Kubi and Naruto should be over base Naruto, and base Naruto, post learning the Rasengan, was able to clash with Sasuke on the rooftop and be equal to him, and then above him with the Rasengan. So then you would just scale Lee over through that metric, and then you could even contradict the data book statement by saying that it's talking about strongest opponent from Gara's perspective, which is saying that Gara thinks the strongest person is the loneliest person and the person with the most hatred, not that Sasuke actually hits or punches harder than Lee or is even faster than Lee. And I'm sure everybody agrees with the fifth gate, Lee would completely speed blitz Sasuke considering Sasuke was compared to weightless Lee. And that is how this goes overwhelmingly in Lee's favor. This pisses me off because I have debunks for some of that shit, but my time is up. So I'm not going to cheat. <laughs> I don't know though, y'all. Strongest opponent. Damn, this man six pulled out the thesis. Yeah, I know. The coin flip is crazy. Six got that turbo fax. It's crazy, y'all, because he doesn't even believe what he's saying. Yeah, this is looking like a. I actually dream. do like that one, bro. I like that argument for Lee. Yeah, but I know you're a Sasuke goon. <laughs> at heart yeah all right so uh let's hit up matt mccleskey oh wait no we already did matt mccleskey's itachi versus kakashi yo so um coco puffs let's do uh yeah all right so this poll all right it's looking like it's a 2-1 <laughs> six could sell me air <laughs> Um, zero, zero, 30. Okay. So let's do, uh, it was what? East blue. Okay. I don't really remember anything about Luffy versus Sanji, bro. <laughs> like the East, blue, oh, like no. I read East blue <laughs> one piece five years ago and didn't retain, uh, not Sanji, uh, Zoro and didn't retain anything. So 
Do I have any One Piece skins in one of these servers? Are we just gonna be yeah. ass at this? Bro, I thought. All right, all right. No Coco way. Puffs, I I had if you are still skin. in chat, you don't have to super chat. Just say any other topic you might have in mind that's not One Piece related. And I got you. You don't have to super chat again. Oh, otherwise, we can do this. It's probably just going to be really bad. War, War Saga versus Sage World Naruto fan arc. I guess that's next because it's 20. Oh, uh, there's another. Oh, 50. Edo Minko versus Madara after Edo Tensei release, but before he was. Oh, my God, to. bro. So what, Renegon Sage Madara Troy? Yeah, that's what it's okay. going like. The One Piece is real. Ang versus Thor? Bro, Thor? <laughs> what? What kind bro, of Thor, question? Thor would slam the fuck out of Aang. <laughs> Unless you agree with Seth's, like, fucking, um, outer versal Aang scaling. I don't... I uh, Coco Puff says, don't got any other fight. All right, all right, I got you, I got you. I'm hoping I get Zoro because I have one argument. All right. Oh, I got the argument. I got the argument. Okay. If I get Sanji, you got Zoro. Fucking. Okay. I, I, I'm Luffy and you're Zoro. Or I'm Zoro Luffy. and you're Luffy. Sorry. I spoke. Oh, okay. It's Luffy Zoro versus again. Zoro. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, even though Luffy uh, routinely throughout East Blue shows incredible durability feats and isn't really able to be damaged by anybody, even uh, incredibly powerful people like Arlong, uh, Zoro's main specialty is one of Luffy's only weaknesses, which is that uh, he uses swords and he uses a shitload of swords like Killer B. Uh, so, he would just be able to cut through Luffy and ignore his um, increased durability hacks. He would just bypass his uh, damage reduction through rubber. And he's also like scales to Luffy relative. Okay, go ahead. All right. Three, Tell me now. two, one, go. Even though Swag said Zoro skill. Wait, who do I have? Who do I have? You have Luffy. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Damn, I was about to. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. Restart. Let restart. Restart. restart you. Three, two, one, go. All right, even though Swag says Zoro skills to Luffy, he gave absolutely zero reasoning for this, so that would mean that the claim is actually null and void, which would mean Luffy and Zoro would have equal stats, so this is the equal stats battle, especially considering neither of us know One Piece. That's the best and most fair way to determine this. And since Luffy has the durability hacks to just overwhelm Zoro's AP, there's no way for Zoro to actually hurt him, so Luffy would win this bout just through durability alone. Wait, hold on. You didn't address that Zoro just cuts through him. I said he bypasses Luffy's defense hacks. <laughs> yeah, I said you didn't give any reason for that. No, I said he cuts through him. Luffy's rubber has a weakness to cutting. <laughs> bro, I've never seen bitch ass one piece. I Battle feel King. you, bro. <laughs> I read through East. The Blue. worst fucking the worst manga of all time i'm not okay hold on i'm not i'm not saying all that bro but okay i'm dick eating but still <laughs> all right y'all so um this should be a clear dub for me oh thank you huey wyatt for the 20 bucks appreciate the support you're the goat 1,300 of y'all in here. Damn, yeah, this is looking like a clean two to two. So let me real quick uh, put the goat back up while I start the timer. Tanjiro versus Sasori? Bro! Tanjiro? <laughs> Tanjiro gets annihilated! <laughs> Bro, okay, so granted, I did stop halfway through season two of Demon Slayer because, and this is gonna get me cooked. I don't like it. <laughs> um, but unless Tanjiro gets like some insane buff by the end of the series, there's no way he's even like touching Sasori, right? 
the people who win who or who like what or read one piece which one of us was actually right like aside from who won like who would actually beat who in east blue zoro or luffy i think luffy is stronger but zoro is like a hard counter to him if i remember correctly let's see you now somebody said yes swag let's go i got people with me on that uh on that wave Sasori versus Sage Jiraiya is actually good. Somebody said that. It did not get a donation, but... All right. Boy, I guess right. Yeah, most, most of this shit is Zoro. Okay. Okay, a couple... No, it's, Luffy's getting a big old, like, swing back, but... Uh, Edo Minato... Sage Madara. Sage Mode Madara. So it's like Hashirama Sage Mode. Luffy actually stomps. I I believe whoever says whatever. All right. Who are you rooting for on this one? Who do you want to get, Six? Who, wait, who is it? Edo Minato and Sage Mode Madara from Troy Tauscher. Uh... No, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of do either one. I don't know. I guess I maybe would rather have a moderator. Well, you got him. I got Edo Mina, though. W. I just don't want to start, bro. Come on. <laughs> God damn it. You're gonna give your opening argument, buddy. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to fucking open in a two-round debate <laughs> where I have to say Edo Minato beats Sage Madara. Uh, okay, y'all. All right, y'all. Give me the you know like comeback mechanics and fighting games like Rage Mode in um, or Rage, rage Art mode. in Tekken <laughs> or like. You know, ultras in Street Fighter Four, limit break in DBFZ. Pretend I have Mortal that, blood. right? So I, because I'm at like a slight disadvantage here. You know, I got like the underdog amp. You know, like when it starts going, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then Naruto like stands up after getting his ass beat by whoever the fuck, and he's just suddenly stronger for no reason. Pretend that's me right now, right? Like I'm Kid Naruto staring down Gara just for no reason that strong and then and then pretend i'm moderate no he's gone right he's gone right he's gone right he's gone right he's gone and i'm just i'm just about to just perfect nah 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 that's uh irrelevant you can't even prove that you're moderate stop stalling bro go ahead so um base minato was able to intercept and react to uh Say just six paths, Madara's truth seeking orbs traveling on their way to Eighth Gate Guy. And if we want to use anime for this, Guy and Madara were moving in slow motion. And there's the other crazy slow motion anime scaling that we've talked about that I don't have time to go over from like the Obito fight. And Minato did this in base and can also enter Sage mode and or uh Kibi Chakra mode, so he should blitz and kill Madara. And also Madara can't seal him. All right. Three, two, one, go. Madara doesn't need to seal him. He can rip me his soul out with the human path. He would do this because Madara is a smart guy. He obviously doesn't want to die. So if worse came to worse, even though he wasn't using the character, he would use it on Minato so he can win the fight. Madara massively outscales Minato, even though Minato outsped the true secret rose. The true secret rose are massively slower than the user, shown by the fact that Madara was able to speed blitz Sage Minato just before this, but then Minato is faster than the true secret orb. That would substantiate the claim. And then um, obviously Madara was skill of KCM2. Minato scales the KCM one, and there you go. Madara wins. I would have just been like proved that he could use the human path if I had round two, bro. It's about to be a three two in your favor, I'm pretty sure. That speed talking is insane. Yeah. <laughs> I 
All right. Keep in mind, y'all, I'm amped, like the poll says. <laughs> no. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me redo this. I can't have uh, amped next to me if I'm still going to lose. Were you a salesman? You sell me anything? No, I'm just a um. I didn't mean I say that. Swag is carbohydrate amp, bro. Cause that guy stay with the food jokes. What? Why am I getting more votes with no amp? All right, it's looking like you got it. So it's three to two. Who do I main in Tekken? Uh, I play uh, Eliza, but um, in order to keep people from calling me um, horny, because I just play Eliza because I think she's cool. Uh, I also play Lars because he was in fucking Storm too. And Lars is pretty cool. Mortal Kombat is so much better. Mortal Kombat, I don't like... I, maybe I like it more than... Tekken just because it's 2D, but I don't like it as much as I like Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat's always just felt like clunky to me. Have you played 11? 11 yeah, I like 11. 11. It doesn't look as clunky as a lot of them. No. Okay, so there are some 20s here. I don't know if I should... Yeah, I'll probably do the... Should I do the 20s or should I just start going in order? Nah, the 20s, the 20s. Aren't 20s the next ones down? Yeah, 20s are the next one down. So that makes sense. So uh, DMS Obito greater than every non-Boruto character single. Not that, That's not. That's cap. That's just cap. Oh, I got oh, that electrical. I, yeah, thanks for the $50, Dawnstar. You are the GOAT. Um. Oh, wait. So... Should I tell him about the Hunter Hunter video? <laughs> <laughs> so after we wrap ahead. up some of these debates, are y'all down for some um, a little bit of trolling, a little bit Hunter Hunter related, uh, taking a look at some dubious, uh, questionable uh, Hunter Hunter videos, some that uh, may or I don't know if y'all can hear this in the other room. <laughs> She's playing a horror game on the Xbox. Uh, anyway. Um, some that may or may not have uh, claims such as the Phantom Troop could beat the Royal Guard, which is, you know, cap. Uh, do it. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Uvo versus Razor, bro. Razor blows Uvo's ass up, right? Like, I'm not tweaking there, right? Six, like, Razor rips Uvo in half. Yeah. You know all those cards on Greed Island are him? What? Yeah, every but Greed game. Island is the one arc in Hunter x Hunter I almost remember nothing from. It's other like than the game, ball. so like you have like the cards that like teleport you around the island or let you cast like spells and shit. Yeah, all of those cards are powered by Razor's Nen, and he's still beating the fuck out of the whole fucking dodgeball team. You guys rock, satisfied customer, hashtag Minato Hive. Thank you, Troy. I appreciate it. All right, let's go for the first $20, which is the title of your stream is not nice. I'm not a loser, nor would I give any money to feed into such a narrative. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, also, okay. Uh, hey, what's up, Stank Kage? Can I get some love for 20 Yes. Uh, yo, Stank Kage does the water prison jutsu pack up the one piece first? Anyone with a devil fruit. Yeah. Unless they ate the devil fruit underwater. Does that change something? Yeah, if you eat the devil fruit underwater, you can swim. What? Otherwise, you can't. Yeah, isn't that crazy? No, that's cold. Pain versus Jiraiya plus an Orochimaru that never left the hidden leaf village? Ability specific to those he would still have in such a world during the pain arc. I feel like this Orochimaru... Okay, I appreciate the 20 Slime Fox. I feel like this Orochimaru is impossible to imagine. 
So he definitely does not have Edo Tensei. Right? Because of his weird ass like experiments and stuff being the main root cause of that. And he probably doesn't have his weird like snake physiology. So I don't know. I feel like you would just have to assume that it's Orochimaru as he is, but we'd probably just have to ban Edo Tensei so that the fight's actually interesting, right? Bro, I just zoned the hell out it's for like pain. 50 seconds. Bro. Okay, it's a $20 pain versus Jiraiya plus an Orochimaru that never left the Leaf Village. Damn, that nigga's finna be ass. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, so we'll just say he did, but no Edo Tensei. He did, but no other time, so. <laughs> so he's still like aligned with Jiraiya. He's not gonna flip on him. Okay, I have an argument for this. Yeah. Who am I getting? Oh my god, I barely got a Rochimaru and Jiraiya. I changed my mind. Rochimaru gets at Otensei. <laughs> Twig was trolling about the double. Oh fruits. wait, no, 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 no! I got tails. I got tails. Okay, I got tails again, so I'm keeping that tails for the next one because I got it twice. I, was I trolling? Was I trolling about the devil fruit? I swear to God, I heard that. That's how it works. Orochimaru wouldn't be able to use Edo Tensei because that's the narrative. That's how it works. Sure. All right, so you have opening arguments for Pain. Three. Pain versus two, Jiraiya and... Orochimaru Jiraiya with no... Jiraiya start in Sage mode? Probably not. He does not start in Sage mode. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Well, actually, no, hold on. No, no, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, 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 no. Does Jiraiya start in Sage mode? Yes. No. No, you can't run a poll. You already said no. No, 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 no. I said probably not. I did not say Okay, no, so it's good. probable. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Here, I'm going to say yes and probably not. Because if it's probably not, I'm going to roll a die for it. All right, let's do a countdown for 30 seconds to determine this. A lot of y'all in chat saying no, y'all hating. Derek Irwin saying yes. Thank you, Derek Irwin. Any good name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Start talking about Bro, okay. okay, Drya, probably not in Sage mode. So what we are going to do is we are going to roll a D6. And if it's a one or a six, he's in Sage mode. Otherwise, he's not. Okay. I, I don't know what that means. So like a six-sided die. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, you got it. All right. Roll D6. Uh, I didn't click roll, so this four doesn't count. I got a six. All right, he's in sage mode. Now I'm actually going to have to roll a poll for, uh, write a poll for this. Four, did not click roll. Six, clicked roll. Hey, bro, if you think about it, if you guys vote for the six, you're like amping six. What? Yeah, because it's like the number six. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Six is winning. 69 votes. Nice, y'all. I'm so glad they added this poll feature to, like, YouTube streams. Yeah. Makes it easy. Yeah. Flying Raijin is accounted to the Sharingan, and since Sabirama is an average user, Blitz Izuna, and Sage Mode equal to the Sharingan reaction plus me into a better 
the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> if Mutter had survived the war, joined the Leaf and trained, do you think he could beat Momoshiki? <laughs> All right. So Jiraiya is starting in Sage mode. And you are starting. I'm starting. Yeah, I got okay. Tails. All right, let's go. Three, Let me know whenever it's coming two, down. one, go. Um, Jory already said that three of the pains could kill him. They were the non combatter paths, human path, uh, and the other three he fought in the Rain Village. I don't know their exact names, but he said that they were already going to kill him because they kept making his ninjutsu. Tendo is obviously the strongest among them, and all the pains gathered to protect Tendo. Orochimaru is only weaker than Jiraiya whenever he's in sage mode um, because Jiraiya or Orochimaru is equal to base Jiraiya. So even if they do take out five pains, the path that we left, and then Chibaku Tensei, neither the signing can get out of that because they're not as strong as Itachi, B, or Naruto at the same time, so they can't break it. And Pain would win that for that reason. Okay. So, um... Independently, Jiraiya was able to figure out Pain's secret, and Pain said that if we did not have the secret, we would not have won, and Jiraiya had not figured out Pain's secret at the time that uh, he said that the Paths of Pain could kill him, so this statement is later made obsolete. Then, also, keep in mind, Jiraiya has Orochimaru with him, who's also a strategic genius, ninjutsu genius, uh, should be about as strong as, if not stronger than him, so overall they'd be able to work together, take down Pain, and blitz him before he could use Chibaku Tensei. Also, he wouldn't use him in the Rain Village to destroy his own village. Okay. Swag. Six. Go for it, y'all. That's just hyping up Jiraiya? Shh. No. No. That shit was so hyping up Jiraiya. No. It's a true statement, bro. Hey, yo. Smoked. So far. Tsunade doubles? What? So like he couldn't use Chibaku Tensei Almighty Push? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Swag a munch for real, bro. Kaze, shut up. <laughs> All right, thanks, y'all. So what, that's 3-3? Three, three? And yeah, Jiraiya is fodder. He and Orochimaru would get destroyed by pain. Bro, going second is overpowered. We might have to do like... Somebody suggested a debunk round earlier, but I didn't care. If it happens again where the person who goes second wins, then we'll do a debunk round. Next up, War Arc Sakura versus Sage Mode Naruto Pain Arc. Oh, boy. Okay. You better hope you don't get Sakura. Oh my god, okay. I got Naruto. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> also, this would be pre Kaguya fight because it's War Arc. Pre Kaguya fight? Yeah, because the war is over when she fights Kaguya. I almost forgot to flip the coin. Now, technically, I already flipped the coin. And got tails, because I flipped it twice by accident, and got tails. But I'll flip it again. Yeah, okay, this is... I got hoed. Alright. So... Um... I don't know where to start here, because you can just pull some... Ah, fuck, there's no debunk rounds. So you can just pull some shit out to outscale me, bro. Okay. War Arc Sakura does not actually have any uh, feats that scale her directly to uh, Pain Arc Naruto, and this does not also say in character. So we can assume that Naruto might be bloodlusted and might go into four tails, six tails, potentially even eight tails, okay. which was able to bypass Chibaku Tensei, which should be greater than anything that Sakura has in her arsenal. 
Um, and he would just shoot a Biju laser or a Rasen shuriken at her and kill her. Also, he would speed blitz her. She has no speed feats on par with Sage Monarto. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Sakura actually scales the KCM 1.5 Naruto or KCM 1 Naruto, whichever you want to say. Naruto does say he's stronger than he was in the pain arc against Nagato. He's only gotten stronger since then. This is towards the end of the war. This is also stated in the data book, meaning it's reaffirmed by Kishimoto. So it's not just Sakura playing catch up or anything like that. She actually does get stronger and catches up to Naruto and Sasuke. Also, there was no quantifiable speed for Sage Naruto there. He never scaled her over Sakura, and he only went six tails slash four tails because pain made him mad by killing Hinata. There's nothing ever saying that he would go this far when physical harm is done You're to his own time. body. Okay. <laughs> Swag. Six. Go crazy. Swag's high? This is RNG! <laughs> It's not my actual position. Oh my god, bro. This is close. <laughs> the Sakura hatred. Oh shit. It vanished as soon as I said something about it. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I got bodied. Take your dub. So what is that? Three to four? Uh, yeah. KCM1 Naruto versus Kage Summit Sasuke Donzo fight. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's Please actually kind of good. That's actually kind of good. That shit is not fair at all. Please yeah. give me Sasuke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's not even 1.5. It's KCM1. I got Sasuke. But I hope you don't start. <laughs> yeah, I know, bro. It's literally who gets the coin flip. <laughs> oh my god. Damn it, bro. What's your opening? <laughs> I think I gotta add a debunk round after this. I'm feeling like the futility of it. Okay. Sasuke was able to fight the Raikage, something that Naruto was uh, struggling with really hard. Naruto's only feat in KCM1 against the Raikage was dodging him one time at the very end of the fight, which seems like he got a mental resolve amp uh, after what the Raikage said about his dad. Uh, and Sasuke only gets stronger later on in the Kage Summit after this. Like, uh, you know, his Susanoo develops, uh, his hatred gets stronger, he gets better at using the Mangekyo Sharingan. Gara also says that he was able to kill the Raikage. Now, Naruto does not have any such AP feats, and it. it's actually stated the Raikage can kill him. Okay, I went a little bit over time. Three, two, one, go. Naruto actually speed blitzes the Raikage at the end of the fight, like Swag mentioned, but this is actually a narrative aspect. It's supposed to show that Naruto is capable of going into the war. That is what this is actually supposed to signify. It's not a one-off thing. If Naruto actually didn't have this power, he wouldn't be allowed to go into the war. That's just what it means narratively. Sasuke was never able to keep up with the Raikage, even when he pulled his Mangekyo Sharingan out. Danzo is no such opponent like the Raikage. He only scales that level through hacks like Izanagi. So he actually doesn't scale the Raikage level. The Raikage should be faster. Sasuke should still be getting blitzed. And then Naruto does say he could use the Ninetales Chakra to beat Sasuke. All right, after there the we go. That is it. I gave you like an extra five ish seconds. Okay. <laughs> you did not address it being a resolve amp at all. Fuck you. Yeah, I did. I said in the narrative aspect, this is nah. supposed to show that he actually surpassed him. We will let the people decide. Though I know y'all be hating on Sasuke, waking up extra early. God damn it. It's impossible <laughs> to win going first, bro. Oh, right, I needed to start the timer. My bad. Sorry. Whoops. Wix? Bro. Y'all <laughs> somehow putting a letter in a number.
Come on, y'all. Don't do me like this. Swag smoked? Yeah, somebody said second no, round is OP. That, that yeah. Zach guy has made it clear throughout the whole chat that he just doesn't like me. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga was, bro, six lost all credibility when he said Borto was better than part one. <laughs> Shut up, nigga. I don't that think he so still believes ago. that anyway. No, I kind of... Uh, I mean, yeah. What the fuck is Naruto supposed to do against an Amaterasu shield? I mean, if he's actually faster, blitz it. <laughs> like, go around. Sasuke didn't coat his whole Susano in it. Just one side. He use a Kurama arm and then just glob yeah. the chakra. Yeah. So, uh, next up... If Madara had survived the war arc, joined the Leaf, and trained, do you think he could beat Momoshiki? Madara post war versus Momoshiki. Zach has he said the N word pass. I'm black. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I have never seen that happen before. Oh, never mind. Zach reaffirmed that he loves me. So. Do we even do this one because the Madara is totally, like, unquantifiable? Oh, what is it? I'm sorry. Madara, who survived the war arc uh, and joined the Leaf and trained, do you think he could beat Momoshiki? No. Yeah, I agree. I appreciate the 20, Devin, but I don't think I could do this debate. It's, what, 5 to 3? Yeah, 5 to 3. Okay, so next up, uh, do I go through $10 or should I just go in order? Okay, now say Pain finds out Obito has different plans for the Tailed Beasts. With or without prep, could he beat him? Also, would Nagato do any better? Okay, so we'll say Pain and save Nagato for a bonus round. Obito, Orange Mask. I am praying I do not get pain, bro. I will literally shit my nuts off. What? <laughs> do not give me pain, bro. Oh, no. Last Obito versus Pain. Huh? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> no way you're not gonna try to argue for Pain. I don't have anything. Everything points to it. Like Minato even says, 14 year old Obito is stronger. Okay. Oh. Sixty. No. Yeah, bro. I just spun wrong. Academy Naruto versus Magic Johnson pre HIV nerf. Okay. Oh, wait. We just got a 20 from Matt McCleskey. Should we do HIV first and then the 20? Oh, you got to reword that shit. <laughs> you just have to reword that. Magic Johnson pre HIV nerf versus Academy Naruto. Uh, I mean, we could do whichever one first. I don't mind. All right. So I imagine this isn't a fight. Um, I don't know, we could do like a basketball competition? I'ma be real, bro. I don't know shit about Magic Johnson stats. But it is Academy Naruto. Okay, bro, I'm Googling Magic Johnson stats, or, like, Googling Magic Johnson, and, like, stats immediately comes up in the autofill, bro. Google, quit the fucking spying.
I gotta Pinky. see if I can find like video games. Most for Super him, NBA bro. basketball on Super Nintendo. I don't know. We both don't know shit about basketball. Um. Okay. Uh. All right. I'm going first. Uh, we'll institute the debunk round. Magic Johnson has no quantifiable feats, and we can't prove that the mechanics of the uh, Naruto universe would work the same as the mechanics of the real world. So because he's unquantifiable, we just have to assume that stats are equalized. And since Magic Johnson is a grown adult and Naruto is totally undisciplined and has a severe lack of any real fighting skills at this point, uh, and it's Academy Naruto, not getting Naruto a Shadow Clone Jutsu, Magic Johnson should just beat him through experience, unironically, and... Uh, yeah, okay. Three, two, one, go. You actually can't prove the mechanics of the Naruto verse would work the same as IRL because if they didn't, Naruto would have an inconsistent reality in which there would be a bunch of contradictions and then everybody would just die or the reality just wouldn't be consistent. So for that reason, the mechanics do work the same. Naruto should be at least the speed of sound. Matty Johnson's a normal ass nigga. So he would just get speed blitzed and punched in his fucking mouth. And then Naruto would pull out the QB and start smacking tails all over that nigga. And then he would use a Rasengan and shove it down his throat and give him HIV for the second fucking time so uh okay so debunk round number one uh six does not actually debunk have any answer no i said we're gonna do hold on i said we're gonna do one because going second always wins okay here chat let we me didn't say that for the you just said, i know no, i know chat chat, chat up, please but. back me up i said debunk round right chat I said, I mean, even if we do debunk rounds, right? I had to get one as well, so it was yeah, still it would be like equally unfair. No, I think, I think giving the person who's going first like a second debunk is like, you know, yeah, I did. Okay, people are saying I did. All right, cool. So, good. Magic Johnson doesn't have any anti feats to put him below the speed of sound. Uh, six cannot actually scale him to below being the speed of sound. Also, I don't believe that Academy Naruto has any Mach 1 feats. Um, but regardless, it's irrelevant. Magic Johnson should scale to him in speed and AP because we don't have any anti feats for him. Um, also, Naruto having a consistent rule set does not mean it works the exact same as the real world because in the real world, chakra does not exist. Okay. Three, two, one go yoshi can't prove magic johnson's not the speed of sound because the speed of sound cannot be captured on camera you can see magic johnson playing basketball you can also see him coming out admitting he has hiv which would heavily nerf him in this fight because naruto is going to give it this to him is again, as, I and hold on, as i stated in my last argument after he smacks all the fucking tails down on him so this hiv infested magic johnson would have no way of hurting naruto and um just because chakra exists in Naruto doesn't mean it doesn't work the same as our reality. It would simply mean that chakra would then exist on the same physical plane as our reality and work the same way. All right. Doesn't you're, you're out of time. Did you say smack the tails on him? Because this is Academy Naruto. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, y'all. Magic Johnson. Naruto. Who y'all got? Magic Johnson, no, 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 do swag versus six. All right, all right, all right, all right, fine. Because <laughs> you know, bro. Uh, that was. You know they're about to <laughs> vote for Magic you. Johnson. I'm clicking end poll, and it's not ending. All right, there we go. Hold on. Swag, Magic Johnson. Six. Magic Johnson. Uh, not, wait, fuck. Imagine we were doing a Magic Johnson mirror match. Oh, <laughs> Just so who could scale Johnson. him higher. <laughs> Sage River Sauce. Someone yeah. said this. All right, so we got two 20s to go through here. And just okay. Looks like you're getting smoked, bro. It's about to be six to four. 
right. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Could have brought up sexy jutsu. Nah, that's not doing nothing to Magic Johnson. He got too much of a Sigma grind set. I don't know about that, bro, considering what it happened. <laughs> team Taka, Sasuke's team, versus Team 7, including Sai, and you can use either Yamato or Kakashi. So, Matt, is this 5 Kage Summit or Itachi Pursuit or the yes, B heavy. mission? So it has to be B mission or Kage Summit. Yeah. Bro, this motherfucker in chat at least universe level named Game Universe. Whichever you want. Um We'll do Should we do B fight? Because, I guess, B-Fight, Kage Summit. Whoops. Oh, damn. Kage Summit edging it out just a little bit. Bro, Sai is Gojo. about to be fucking irrelevant. Swag hasn't seen JJK, Will. I've seen the first episode. I was like, this is all right. I wasn't like, I thought, I've seen some, okay, it's B-Fight. They barely won. I think that the combat in JJK looks cool, but I wasn't like super sold on the narrative premise by episode one. I'm told it gets better though, so I'm like gonna, um... Or that I get, like, I probably get more interested in it later on. So, like, I'm not saying episode one is bad or anything. I just wasn't, like, crazy about it. Uh, and I was busy at the time that I tried to watch it. I'm going to give it another shot because of how popular it is and how many people insist it's good. I'm pretty sure there's got to, like, people got to be onto something. But when I saw the first episode and I was like, eh, you know. Um, and I, it didn't like grab me or anything. I was just like, cause I've been burnt out, bro. Like I, I not burnt out, but I've been burned by my hero and demon <laughs> slayer. He was like <laughs> fairy tale too, bro. Fairy tale got like crazy hype back when it first dropped. And like those happening, like all together as like the new big shonen. I, I didn't like my hero from the jump. And if y'all have seen that recent chapter cover, you know, it's kind of like Horikoshi Pack Watch, a little bit. Um, and Demon Slayer, I just man, it's so fucking boring, bro. Like it's only combat, and then it like like I don't care about the characters. The end of the story is a foregone conclusion. You know that Tanjiro is just gonna save uh, Nezuko. And it's just like a very linear story with no interesting subplots or anything. I don't like it. Uh, if you like Demon Slayer or My Hero, like it's whatever. But like it's just going into JJK, I was very skeptical because new shonen have uh, not. They've disappointed me. But okay, uh, let's see. No, Gogeta, I have no siblings. Team 7. Team. So I guess this would be Team 7 from the Pain Arc, right? With Yamato and Sai. In the pain arc, what? Yamato wasn't on Team 7 in the pain arc. Oh, then it would be Kakashi. Yeah, sorry. He said you could use Yamato or Kakashi. It, it says Team 7, including Sai, you can use Yamato or Kakashi. So either Kagazu or pain arc. Yeah. Who you want? Oh, I got it. I got Team Taka. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, which which Team Taka was it again? Uh, B fight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit me. worse, but not terrible. It, no, it's bro. It's actually easy. <laughs> All right. Well, you're going first. Three, right, two, one.
Go, I'll say it's Kakazu fight, by the way. Huh? No. What? No, Sai was only on Team 7 during the Kakazu fight. You said whichever one you want. If you use Kakashi, I could say... Pain All right, fight. here, 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 here. Kakazu fight or Pain Arc. I can't put Kakazu and Pain in there because then everybody will vote for Kakazu thinking it's a Kakazu versus Pain question. Don't betray me like this. Bro, Pain Arc, or, um, Kakazu Arc Kakashi is literally just Kazakage Rescue Arc Kakashi. No Mangekyo without hospital, anyway. Oh, right, I should start the timer. Sebastian Miranda says the One Piece is mid. Hey, I'm not gonna agree, <laughs> but that's funny. I mean, I remember liking One Piece well enough, but people kept telling me, "Bro, you're nowhere." Not, nah, bro. Just wait. Just wait. You're you've got nowhere. And by volume twenty, I was just like, "All right, I'm done with this." Because they kept telling me I was gonna like it more than Hunter Hunter, Naruto, and Dragon Ball, and I was just like. I don't know about that. Like, more than Death Note? Like, okay. Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but... Bro, it's fucking good. Yeah. Swagkage-sama? Okay. So. I'm gonna pop a warhead, get this warhead amp. Three... Two, one, go. Zensu records all fights with the Akoski, including Pain and Sasuke. When Sasuke joined the Akoski, after Sasuke gets done beating B, he runs into Sasuke after he gets fully recovered. And he already says that Naruto, since he beat Pain, is just stronger than Sasuke. Keep in mind, Sasuke was nerfed when he fought B because he wasn't fully done recovering from the fight with Itachi. That much is stated. Then when he gets fully recovered, this is the Sasuke Zetsu is talking to when Zetsu says that he's just weaker than Naruto. So Naruto can beat Sasuke. Sasuke's the strongest of his team. So Naruto could solo team uh, Taka by himself. I Sage forgot mode. that it's Sage Mode Naruto. You got it. <laughs> Next one for $20. Sage Jiraiya versus Saucery. We both have the crazy argument for Saucery. Yeah. That's like a direct line of scaling, too. Who you want, though? Do you want Jiraiya or Saucery more? Uh, I don't really care. I kind of want sorcery. Okay, I got Sage Dryer. Bring the chips back for 20 bucks. <laughs> All right. One sec. I actually made him go hit, go get the chips, bro. Okay, so who is starting? Yep, amp incoming. <laughs> Always me, bro. So Jiraiya does start in Sage mode at least. So, uh, I don't remember exactly which data book it is, but there's a data book statement. Um, Six knows what I'm talking about. I believe it's, um, 
No, it's not Databook 3, but anyway, uh, that claims uh, Jiraiya has abilities surpassing uh, that of all five great nations, which would include all of the Kazekage, uh, including the one that Sasori defeated, um, and also potentially Sasori himself, um, which, I mean, it just directly scales Jiraiya above Sasori. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This thing Ms. Oyag is talking about is a recent one. This one where Sasori is not included with the village and the Kazekage currently is Gara, so that wouldn't really matter. It doesn't scale Jiraiya anywhere. Jiraiya or Sasori scales over Prime Chio since he has the third Kazekage puppet. Chio fought Hanzo tons of times. Hanzo beat the signing and he even scales over the older signing because when Jiraiya found out Hanzo died, he considered it to be an impossible feat. He didn't think anybody was capable of it, which is why also Jiraiya is below pain like everyone everyone thinks and already knows. So, um, yeah. Sasori beats Jiraiya through that reasoning. I don't even want to keep going. <laughs> I don't want to give out any debunks to this. So you got it. It's like 7 to 4. I think it's 8 4, but. Yeah, you don't agree with it. Okay. For ten dollars, Toby Rama versus Pain, or Sound Five versus Zabuza and Haku. The Sound Five versus Zabuza and Haku is so much of a sweep. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked for Totoro versus Goku. I'm pretty sure, like from my neighbor, Totoro, Goku. Full power Hokage Naruto, full power three yard martyr. I'm not even <laughs> gonna potentially take this L. I, I can take martyr. For this. Naruto wins. We both. Bro's, <laughs> bro's, <laughs> this is bro's gatekeeping D books. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait, somebody donated 20 for DMS Obito versus Jubito. Ooh. That's actually interesting. I don't know if I feel like debating this, but... We could talk about it. Yeah, I'm we fine with... That's it. what I was about to say. There's actually a lot that implies that DMS Obito is actually stronger. Yeah, he, he's unironically reacting to Kage and shit. Yeah. Um, I'm like creating portals through dimensions and stuff also he has the massive advantage of being able to phase through things which jubito can't do for some reason yeah for for some reason <laughs> for some unstated reason you no know, it's a stated reason but it's a weird reason well yeah yeah but like yeah like why does the dentils mess with that yeah, like, what does that matter that's what i'm that's what i'm getting at oh yeah yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Bro, I wish Jubito had Kamui. That would go crazy. That nigga would be so busted. I know, bro. Oh. Somebody for two said EMS Sasuke versus Teen Gojo. Controlling the Jubi is too hard? No, that's cool. Not a bad interpretation. Okay, Hisoka with Kaioken times two versus Krolo with second gate. What the fuck? Isn't Krolo, or isn't the first gate stated to be a five times amp? Yeah. Krolo shit smears Hisoka. Bro, he literally fucking sits on Hisoka, farts on him, gets up, and fucking kills him before Hisoka even knows what happened. Yugi Moto versus Light Yagami from Death Note. Are you familiar with either of these fellas six who want to debate that? And Yugi like, Moto? Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. From Yu-Gi-Oh. Bro, I haven't seen Yu-Gi-Oh since I was like 10. That's fair. Shino versus Sai? I'm not debating for either. 
<laughs> bro, why would you give ten dollars to say that, bro? I appreciate she the know. ten, but <laughs> she know. So I probably beats him, yeah. just based on like how he's framed narratively. But I just realized I was like ten feet away from my desk. What the fuck that was? But I said, yeah, probably five dollars. Hitler versus Jeffrey Epstein, both are in their prime. Bro said that like Hitler gets nerfed or some shit. I bro. know, He's right? Like, well, no, Hitler does get sick near uh, his death, like really, really sick. Well, do I don't want to defend Hitler? <laughs> I was so... about to say, I don't think that we're going. <laughs> But I also don't want to defend Jeffrey Epstein. Six has no childhood confirmed. Damn, nigga. EMF Sasuke versus Team Gojo. That is all you. Oh my god. <sighs> Sasuke would probably beat him up. Gojo is pretty slow, despite all of his hacks. Okay, now Lee off the red chili perk versus the five kage. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think there's a debate for the five kage. It's just yeah, three it's... times a hundred. Yeah. All right, let's do this one: the DMS ramen guy versus Renegon Ebisu. Bro, where are you seeing these? They're old. It's Troy's first one. Oh. No, I don't know. Um, well, we already did one of Troy's, so I guess we could just talk about this one. Um, it depends on what DMS, uh, ramen guy's MS powers are. But, being totally neutral about it, he has to worry about blindness, which Ebisu wouldn't. Also, Ebisu does actually have feats. The ramen guy doesn't. So Bring out the Ebisu feats, bro. Like he's a Tokubetsu Jonin. Ramen guy can't mm. even use chakra, as far as we know. EMS Sasuke versus War Five Kage No Senjutsu Tsusana. Um, it's probably still Sasuke, but. The five Kage are strong, but it's probably Sasuke. Because the power cliffing just gets crazy. Six, you're fucking... Oh, I miss regular vid swag. Six, you're fucking awesome too. But Haku oh. versus Gara or Toroma versus Kabuto. I don't care which one. Been pondering these a minute. Appreciate it, by the way. So, by the way, chat, are y'all fine with us giving answers right now? Or do you want fucking, like, ice-cold debates? Go ahead and answer while I go grab another drink. I don't mind doing either, so. Whichever one people want to hear, I'll do. Du -du 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 -du. Sage Mo Kabuto vs. 5 Kage. Eh. Six me... Excuse me. Somebody said six sm smells. Mm. Oh, wait. I don't know why wait. I didn't throw up a... Uh, answers. Debate. All right. People are probably going to vote for debate. Yeah. Oh, oh answers. yeah. Answers is winning. Q&A. Damn, y'all want to know our actual thoughts, huh? Y'all want the secret Krabby Patty formula? Damn, debate is catching up. Okay, no, never mind. It's a sweep for answers for right now. Okay. So, Haku versus Gara. I'll do both of these. It depends on which Gara. <laughs> Obviously, Boruto Gara <laughs> beats Haku up. Um, 
You can do some weird war arc scaling for Haku, like him blitzing Kakashi again. But like Six said yesterday, it was like a resolve amp. Um, Gara should beat him most of the time, if you assume that he's like Jonin level. Yeah, without the resolve amp, he's base guy level. Yeah. Uh, Toby Rama versus Kabuto. So tandem paper bomb is cool, but I don't think Toby Rama can actually damage. Um, no, wait, he's not Sage of Six Paths. He's just fucking regular Sage mode. Forgive me, I'm being stupid. Mm. Tandem paper bomb if he's Edo might be a problem for Kabuto, but I feel like Kabuto could just like hydrificate through it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You so he gets I was about to say quirk. Bro, IRL 6 versus IRL swag one day prep. Any means at all? Like, I can hire, like, Agent 47 to kill 6? Bro, that's not fair. What? <laughs> they I will be bringing prep. it in, though. Is it a battle? To the, if it's a battle to the death, I'm bringing a gun. I don't. I don't own a firearm at the moment. Uh, and then I win. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. I guess if I have one day of prep, I could just go buy a gun. Six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six is probably beating me. I built. I mean, it would just be like a quick draw match if it's a battle to the death. Bro, no rules as I walk up. Ed, Ed, Ed and Vaknin said no rules. Oh, bro, Since I'm just posting the address and I'm just fuck? sicking all my subs on you. Bro, this nigga just this nigga just proposed to me in chat. <laughs> nah, nah, the guy who proposed it said uh no rules. no no he proposed no, like he no, asked no. me I, I, I know i was saying a different the guy <laughs> who suggested our fight said no rules so i'm just going to tell all my subs the location of the fight and then you're getting jumped Looks like i need a bigger gun <laughs> yeah like the fuck Wait, how do you know they would be on your side what did they show up and just like, yeah, we've always wanted to get you anyway because you said Sakura beats Madara. I would flip. I'd be right. like, Madara kicks Sakura's dumb ass, bro. Six, how old are you? I'm younger than Swag, and that's all I'm going to tell you. Only fans, though? All right. I will start an OnlyFans account if we get up to 5K. Nigga, Super what? <laughs> I will oh my God. consider posting uh, the last dono's request on the OnlyFans account if we get up to 10k chat revenue. This is 11 years old. <laughs> For real, yeah. Seth is 14. Yeah, I'm fucking 11, bro. I probably shouldn't make that promise. Actually, I'm not going to stand by that. I'll, I'll do a foot. I'll do a foot reveal on OnlyFans if we get to five k, bro. Nah, but um. Nah, this is wild. Y'all gotta do it now. <laughs> Warark Shino versus Datara in his Sasuke fight form. Who and how? Warark power cliffing is kind of real, but Datara would just like see zero at the. So at worst, it's a draw. Shino is not living that. Let me also swag Jonin. <laughs> you give six damn word pass. That nigga called you swag Jonin. I yeah, wouldn't that's have crazy. it. Crazy. Me personally. Um, Minato versus early KCM two Naruto. Base Minato smacking. Have I told y'all about? I, I think I tweeted this, and you said I was like on drugs. That like base Minato might be stronger than Edo Minato because he doesn't have to carry around the weight of the Nine Tails Chakra. Yeah, anyway, let's see. Well, base to base, I think it makes sense. Well, base to base, he's already stronger. Yeah, and then on top of that, right? I'm not saying he's stronger than KCM too. 
Oh, Might this be. guy's basically asking, do you um you have an updated Akoski ranking? I could probably do it. If anybody donates for it, I'll like rank the Akatsuki now. But I do have a lot of uh, donations to go through first, is the thing. Uh, base Teen Sakura is 4D, and I'll send you the scale 6. All right. Um, Bro, don't, don't send me that bullshit-ass scale. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Baryon Mode Naruto can no diff Jubi Madara. Yes, Ghost Zero, you are spitting. Uzumaki Clan versus Uchiha Clan. Bro, Naruto by himself is yeah. slapping the whole clan, bro. Yeah, that's the problem. It's literally Naruto versus the Uchiha clan, and if he can beat Sasuke, which he can, he wins. Uh, Minato versus early KCM2, though. I, I think that Minato wins. Do you think Goku can lift Thor's hammer? At the Man, end of the Boo saga, he could do it. He can't be worthy, bro. At the end of the Boo saga, he could do it. In Super, he turned into a total jackass dumbass. Uh, so he probably know. Charlie Spur, you're banned from existence for being an Uchiha simp? Sorry, man. <laughs> banned from existence? EMS Itachi versus the Popeye's Biscuit No Drink. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Itachi sick ass would unironically get fucked up by that. I know, hold on. You wanna debate it? Yeah, we can go. Fuck it. I, I'm not I'm not doing this shit. Nah, hold on. Let me also change the stream background real quick back to uh the Kakazu statement. Um do I know anyone who power scales JoJo's? No. Base War Arc Naruto versus Post Orochimaru Heavy Sasuke, unironically Naruto. Especially if you use that Storm 3 quick time event, bro. I'd love to see a video about Sasuke never losing the curse mark, says Wayne Roden. Um, that would be interesting. I think he would be a problem if he had the curse mark and the Mangekyo Sharingan. Yo, Six, you're going to laugh at this one. Are you ready? Oh, no. What? Donzo versus A, Darui, and C. <laughs> bro, that nigga's going to die 11 times again, bro. Yeah. Uh, Colt Allen, Minato versus Itachi is the one I could never decide. Minato. Minato's too fast for Itachi. Especially any version of a live Itachi we see. And if it's Edo Itachi, Minato's actually an expert user of sealing jutsu. I think Aang outside the Avatar state isn't worth, but I believe once he enters it as an adult, which he mastered, I think he might be stronger than Thor in that moment. No. Yeah, okay. Jirobo versus Haku. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, Jerobo is what? one of... Jerobo's one of the... Get this out. Chris DS, one of the mods in chat, he knows what I'm talking about. Jerobo is one of the golden three. Him, Kakazu, and Sakura. Did I ever send you that scan, three. bro? When we were prepping for the Afro debate? No, I don't remember. The golden three? Yeah. Get Chris, it. if you're watching, bro. Chris, do you have the scan? So the the joke about uh, Jirobo comes from the CBR article where they said like Red Pill Choji could beat like Sasuke or uh, Naruto end of series, and so I always like scaled Jirobo like crazy as a joke. Um, talk to NC Hammer twenty three since he hates Sasuke. Funny that you mentioned that NC Hammer does not have any beef with me. He does not like Seth or Six. That nigga despises us. <laughs> so look, bro. I mean, to tell everyone the story, if you don't watch Seth's streams, we ba he, he basically made a video um, saying Itachi was stupid. And then we made a stream saying he was stupid because someone paid $2,000 for us to do that. Um, 
And then I, I messaged the guy. I was like, hey, yo, me and Seth did this. Because I was just trying to let him know that there wasn't any bad blood or anything. It was kind of just like a, like we were hitmen. Right. Like $2,000. $2,000. Um, $2, and um, he was he just wasn't going for it. He was like, nope. Nope. The stream is up. If y'all want to watch me and Seth, like, fuck him up. It's on one of those highlights channels. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm by saying this, I'm probably gonna burn a bridge, but I'd do a lot for two thousand dollars <laughs> for a two k donation. Ah, uh, somebody's gonna send a copy of the new two k to my house. <laughs> send me a Steam code for it. That's not what I mean. A theory: When Naruto and Sasuke lost their arms, they lost the arms with the Sage of Six Paths chakra seal. Could that be why they can't use Sage of Six Paths chakra anymore? No, they can. They do it. Naruto enters Six Paths Sage mode. Sasuke has his running on. Bring back dissection videos, please. Um, I actually okay. Let me see if I can find where I put the thumbnail. I actually am planning on making a. That man's NC, truth be told, he does not know what he's talking about. Hey, Moses, thanks for the $10. I oh, don't God, watch Moses. NC's videos like that. I can't comment. He is spin. I I did not say that. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, Swag, Swag's not saying that. That's me. You know, the bridge but, for me has already been uh, toasted. Yeah, bro. That shit got fried. If Naruto with a Nine Tails amp greater than Haku and Haku greater than Sharingan Kakashi, could Kakashi stop CM2 Sasuke? What? The, it's just so Naruto's not actually stronger than Haku. Haku's like holding back, and Naruto catches him way off guard and gets like mental amped. It's just, it's a really weird like scaling situation, though. I agree. Any thoughts on the current Boruto of Power Scar? I think it's in the most consistent spot it's been in for a minute. So this is the uh, thumbnail that I have. It is a Sasuke, like, total, complete character analysis video. Uh, I'd probably put, like, the Naruto logo behind it at some point now. Uh, but it'll probably be, like, an hour or two or something. So I want to do dissections, but I'm not, like, super happy with the old one so i'd probably like redo them and go like extremely extremely in depth with the characters um let me see and see him is holding swags family hostage no i whoa no i mean if somebody donates like five hundred dollars i'm not gonna ask for that people are gonna call me scam kage <laughs> If Bro, somebody on, wants to it. motivate me enough, <laughs> I will watch and disagree with a video of your choice. That is all I will say. Now, separate thought. $500 should could sure could motivate me to do something completely separate from what i just said i am not telling anybody to pay me 500 dollars to do it gator versus sastry blood lested eight gays donald trump versus juby waterer <laughs> trump would out rhetoric him if trump could out rhetoric moderate that would be insane <laughs> He would just be like wrong. This guy wants a uh, sham. Bro, somebody do the 500 for the, the debunk, bro. DMS Kakashi versus Prime Momoshiki. Actually, we'll, we'll do it like this, right? Let's do it like a fund. So, what if the, if we get like two, no. like 2k? Yeah, what? nah, because then the like four people have to donate 500, bro. No, no, like just do it like forward. So basically, anyone could donate any amount of money, and then it just goes toward the five hundred for the video. Okay, so let me go through all of the current super chats, and then we need to watch that Hunter Hunter video. 
Uh, Naruto versus one of each Pokemon? Bro, Naruto gets slaughtered. <laughs> okay? He's got to fight Arceus, Giratina, Rayquaza. Like, it's not happening. He can't do it, bro. There's like a thousand of them, too. Cannon Bardock versus non-Cannon Bardock? I'm pretty sure DBS Bardock is like stronger in the manga. Um, Eviso versus Mizuki? I actually don't know. I feel like Ebisu, uh, Ebisu could beat him. Okay, this is an interesting question, Six. How many Cybermen are needed to take out the Leaf in current Boruto? Ten. <laughs> yeah, I think I agree with that. Naruto Kai type re-release needed for the new generation of fans. Hey, that filler is garbage, bro. It's terrible. So, yes, get it out of there. Datara versus Sasori blood lested. Uh Sasori, he's stronger. Um Eight Gates Guy versus Blood Lusted Minato. I'm a Minato hype beast. I don't I don't know if I'm like Minato has the feet, but I don't know if I'd unironically say he would win. You win against who? Eight Gates guy. Oh, he, I mean, he could. You can maybe scale it, but I don't him. think that's how Kishimoto would ride it if they fought. Yeah, well, he might be able to outlast him, but. Yeah. Uh, Trump rhetoric versus Naruto Takno Jutsu. All right, no, Naruto's smoking him. Naruto is definitely getting elected president. Mizuki fight Naruto versus one minute until death post Kirin Itachi. What the fuck? Naruto dies. If it's like bloodlusted. <laughs> Bugs Bunny with Michael Jordan's secret sauce versus Mickey Mouse enraged with Fantasia. I mean, Bugs Bunny just is strong. So... What is Bugs Bunny's secret sauce? No, Michael Jordan's secret sauce from Space Jam. Oh. KCM Sage Naruto versus every character that was introduced in part one. Naruto probably, right? Unless I'm forgetting somebody. I guess KCM one Sage Naruto? I'm pretty sure it's KCM two Sage Naruto. KCM Sage Naruto versus who? Every character that was introduced in part one. Bro. <laughs> he would wipe the floor with all of them. Yeah, I agree. Like, maybe unless you, like, use, like, EMS Itachi. But, like, I'm pretty sure he's still stronger than that Itachi. In KCM 2 Sage Mode. Supersonic is destroying Naruto. No, where do I scale Minato's speed? Faster than pretty much anyone who isn't, like, Sage of Six Paths level. Maybe Hashirama's faster, but I, I, I doubt it. I don't think that's narratively implied. McDonald's versus Burger King. Who you got, Six? Don't disappoint me. I don't like either of them. Uh, Burger King has chicken fries. I'm going to get cooked for saying I prefer. Oh, my God. Burger King's definitely the worst option, but I don't like either of them. I mean, McDonald's has a better general menu, and, like, their frappes are good, and their fries are good, but Burger King has chicken fries. Which technique is better, Kamehameha versus Rasengan? Kamehameha. Uh, yeah, the Kamehameha just has better range and generally does more damage. Yep. They're both, like... Actually, don't want to say they're equally cool. I think the Kamehameha is cooler. Kid Naruto versus Kid Sasuke. Three Tomoe without curse mark. Um, well, if it's one tail, Sasuke loses. And if it's not one tail, then Sasuke wins. And then Sage Mode Naruto versus Peak Orange Mask Obito. Ob Obito. Damn. Well, you agree, no, right? I think you think that was about to be a fair fight. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree 100%. I never watched the filler arcs in Naruto. Are there any that are actually good? I don't think so. I don't like Damn. any of them. 
<laughs> None of them. No, I don't like any of them, bro. Sage of Six Paths, KCM Naruto versus Baryon Mode Naruto. Baryon Mode, what? Appreciate the $2, though, Ethan. Okay, so now that we have gone through every super chat, all right, I think I just got $20. Nope, just kidding. That was old. Are you guys ready to get it toxic in, huh? Let's get it toxic in here. We, are you guys ready to watch a Hunter x Hunter video? I'm so worried we're going to have a huge drop off in viewers. We'll be fine. Wait, Eric Square, hold on. I didn't even hear mine. What was yours? Just post it again in chat. Sarada versus Obito? Oh, no. I'm not. I'm going to plead the fifth, bro. <laughs> Thank God I live in America. Oh, let me see. What was Eric's? Oh, they're saying no. Oh. Yes, Hunter. Good? Here, 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 here. Yeah, do, do a poll. Do a poll. Power and Kakashi Ombu arc are pretty... The Kakashi Ombu arc is good. That's right. Power is whatever. The Sanin versus Pain would be a cool video. Yeah, um... I feel like I would have to look into it. Because Pain is really strong. All right, so are y'all ready for this? It is the Phantom Troop versus the Chimera Ants, okay? Now, I was hesitant about doing this, but Six, you remember, we were watching another one of this guy's videos, and he was like, so this one is correct. I've seen other versions of this video. Not, it was about a different topic. But they're wrong. And he like called out a specific guy. So I'm just like, hmm. Ambu Kakashi versus Ambu Itachi. If it's post MS, there's like, I, Ambu Itachi is like, it's not even fair. Not fair. Yeah. If it's pre MS, Ambu Itachi should still just be running circles around him. Okay. So. Hello and all right. This is New World Review. Could you should uh, stream your normal screen through Discord? Yeah, so that I'm not like stream lagged. Yeah, so I wonder what I should do for the audio of um. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, do you have your OBS just set to capture desktop audio? Yeah. Can I just like put me at like 200 and then it should be fine? Yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, so get ready, y'all. It's about to get loud. All right, talk. You're about to get loud. Yep. Yeah, you are quite a bit louder. So, okay. Could the Phantom Troop defeat the Royal Guard? I, this video frustrated me so much that I wanted to make a video about it, okay? Now, this isn't as bad as SSJ4 Guy's Boo Saga video. That video was a travesty, bro. Like titled the boo saga is a disgrace and then <laughs> opens up like so the boo saga is very entertaining i like it quite a bit you know what i'm saying it's really good i can't donate 500 youtube won't let me help oh, oh is it because you already donated a lot this week 
How okay, much? Moses, I appreciate the thought, though. You're really donating ten to ask me to help you donate five hundred. <laughs> I mean, Moses, you can make an alt. <laughs> I guess you could make an alt account. Yeah, I would not suggest that, though. You know, I don't want to yeah. get banned for violating two S or whatever. A live Minato defending the village versus a live Madara, but a lot, but Madara has a teleportation mark on his back from Minato. Oh, that changes it completely. Oh, <laughs> Madara can never hit him now. Yeah, no, Madara actually might lose. He might get sealed. Yeah, actually, I think Minato beats Madara under those conditions. I thought that was Saiyan Scholar. Saiyan Scholar is SSJ4 guy. So I've been told. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the video. All right. Cash what? app swag 500. Mm. I don't know if I want to give out like my phone number or whatever. Your phone number? Yeah. No, the last time I used cash app, like, I don't remember. Like the person I gave it to saw my like fucking phone, phone number or whatever. I don't know. It's been like years since I use Cash App though. For most transactions, I just use PayPal. So I could just be boomering on this. Boomer. <laughs> yeah. DMS Kakashi versus Krillin might be if you answered already. DBS Krillin is getting him out of there. <laughs> Saiyan Saga Krillin might lose. Yeah, he probably loses. Part one Kakashi versus Lieutenant Surge from Pokemon. I don't know how to scale Pokemon characters, actually. But all right, so let's finally get this video started, okay? Are y'all ready for this? And welcome to the new old review source for everything anime and manga, and today we are here to discover the answer to a grand hypothetical being could the Phantom Troop defeat Meruem's Royal Guard? Note, not Meruem himself, just the Royal Guard. And I find this to be a particularly fascinating question because the immediate knee-jerk reaction to that sort of inquiry would generally be, nope, down. absolutely not. The troop will get crushed okay, like bugs by bugs. Whereas after having thought these. about it, I think it might actually be the other way around. Diving into the troop actually reveals some pretty terrifying possibilities. All right, bro. So we're already, <laughs> we're 30 seconds in, bro's already like the troop washing the Chimera Ant. Royal Guard. You know what I'm saying? Like... Right. It's terrifying of which is obviously the prospect of subscribing to the New World Review, which will have the side effect of granting you regular Hunt Hunt content uploaded straight into your YouTube feed. I know it's a scary thing, but we all need to overcome our fears right here. Okay, I'm not gonna... Define which Phantom Troop I'm talking about, by which I mean the exact composition Here, wait, of the me also troop, because it has changed times. over time, and our band in the Succession War arc look quite I'll different to our York City group. For the sake of putting them up against the Royal Guard, I'm going to be using the Phantom Troop during the Chimera Antarch, so that we have a roughly time yeah, period comparison. Better. And to recap who we have on hand, well that would be Phaetan, Fink, Shizuku, Banolanov, Kalato, Nobunaga, Kotopi, Shalnok, Franklin, and Krollo. Yes, Krollo. Canonically, he actually got his Nen back during the Chimera Antarch, because you can see Hisoka okay, and Nobunaga so approaching him on the cover of Chapter 201, where Krollo also appears to be reading a copy of Weekly Shonen Jump, which is a very fun nod, but as a result, yes, our leader can participate. Meanwhile, for our royal guard, we of course have our well-known and well-loved Nefapito and Menthith Yubi, as well as All the right, almost Sean, universal ready. Cyborg. And I would like to start by analyzing the skill set of the royal guard, because what became very apparent to me while looking at this topic is that they really don't have particularly useful combative abilities. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Did you guys hear that, bro? Let me let me back up in case you guys didn't. And the skill set of the royal guard, because what became very apparent to me while looking at this topic is that they really don't have particularly useful combative abilities. And those are one more time of the Royal Guard because what became very apparent to me whilst looking at this topic is that they really don't have particularly useful combative abilities. And those are the Royal They do Guard. not have particularly useful combative abilities. Pito, Shao Poof, <laughs> and UP do not have particularly useful combative ability. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Somebody said slow it down. Okay, let me uh slow same ask your community that made me drop my blunt bro i'm sorry i'm just imagining that is so fucking funny i'm just imagining this dude sitting there and he hears that that shit just falls out his hand in slow motion so what is slow mo he's a real person what? <laughs> 
slow, same. Okay, it looks like about, so, okay, I'll put it to 1.25 for everybody. That do exist are quite shockingly basic. So for example, Pito developed their heart so pretty much in an effort just to entertain themselves. Dr. Blythe is a healing ability that if used leaves Pito extraordinarily okay, vulnerable so, like, this and is practically a unable point. to protect themselves. Meanwhile, Pop But it's like, Dr. Blythe is irrelevant because Pidu is just so strong, right? It's not like Pidu is going to have to bust this out ever. You know, yeah. she beat Kite without it. But tearing could be a hey, useful this manipulation is, power, except this it requires is a, a fair target point to be operated on the Dr. Blythe. Made and that is towards be something pointer. else. Right. Not yeah, toward like the fact that they don't have um, good combative ability. Yeah, like, it's like if Pidu was fighting someone who scaled to Pidu, sure, but... They're not. He's fighting fucking Hisoka Fink. <laughs> Hisoka's not no, even Fink. here. That's the craziest part. They oh, have my their, bad. Like, second strongest member. A rough condition to fulfill. All Pito really has to their name is to score, which merely enhances Pito's physical prowess beyond natural limits. As for Shia Poof, he does have a few useful tricky things like Beelzebub, which will make annihilating him quite difficult. Yeah, it's just a useful tricky thing. But his uh, spiritual message hard okay, to no, I'm not, I'm not going to nitpick. I'm only going to really cook the insane stuff, okay? You know, like... For the purpose of basically so corralling cattle for the king. And his cocoon power, which grants nan abilities to others, is going to be useless. He's probably talking about nan abilities? Yeah, but like... You, so you mean Hatsu, I assume, right? But it's like that, you should just say their Hatsu aren't tailored for combat. And even then, that's not true because Yupi, right? Because it takes at least 24 hours to take effect. Poof can also change his body to mimic others, so that might be useful. But in the end, he is also pretty much just left in a physical standoff. As is Yupi, who has no abilities whatsoever outside of bodily enhancement, manipulation, and general ragey, ragey- Like he's, he, okay, he's- <laughs> Sorry if I'm being- This guy is essentially, but he's, he's essentially just saying that in combat, being physically powerful isn't isn't good right yeah he's like he's got nothing like except matter. enhancement like <laughs> like you know? he said he said all all tetsukura does is amp pito beyond her physical limits or beyond their physical limits but it's like bro the the physical limit is already super fucking high that's that's pretty good yeah blasty goodness and with all of this in mind the royal guard just don't have a particularly strong win condition okay okay i know i just said i'm trying not to be a pause andy so let's go back a couple seconds Fact. right so can also can change his body to mimic that. others so that might be useful but in the end he is also pretty much just left in a physical standoff as is yuppie who has no abilities whatsoever outside of bodily enhancement manipulation right, like and general ragey ragey blasty goodness and with all of this in mind the royal guard just don't have a particularly strong win condition you heard that right against the phantom troop who struggled with like the little generals, the <laughs> Royal Guard do not have a particularly strong win condition. Okay. Pause, Andy. <laughs> Pause, Andy. Crollo has somewhat of a chance against UP. Suchi. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I am the ultimate Crollo stand. Okay, that's like my favorite character ever. No, he doesn't <laughs> at all. What does he do? Get fucking kicked in the face and he dies. <laughs> all right, so. For them, they simply need to rip their opponents to pieces with their bare hands or with their cat hands, I suppose. And that is going to be problematic against this particular group of people. Why? Because the Phantom Troop are the exact opposite, really. They are a group of highly skilled and efficient end users who have developed abilities for the very key purpose of survival. And together, those abilities. But like, so have the, the Royal Guard. Uh, that that doesn't elements. matter. And furthermore, nope, they also have they one of the greatest uses. They don't have particularly uses useful combative ability. <laughs> Hunter to instruct them on exactly how to implement said powers. Because Crollo really is the key to everything, not so much because of his abilities, but because this he is the only person is in this world too. capable of making the troop work together as a cohesive unit. And also, he is without a doubt more intelligent than any one of the Royal Guard. That is like, okay. Damn. You be sure. Pidu, possibly. Maybe even... Probably. Poof? Potentially. Without a doubt? Without a doubt. I don't know. I got some doubts. Again. Uh, bro, he, he's, he just said P2 made their Hatsu for fun. Like, no knowledge in them. They're just making Hatsu. But without a fucking doubt, Krolo, Krolo is, is just the game. smartest. It's, there's, there's no question about it. <laughs> like... Poof was just able to successfully lie to Meruem, like gaslight him 
for a really fucking long time. Like, don't get me wrong. Krolo's smart. Like, smart as shit. Without I mean. a doubt, smarter than Shia Poof and Pidu? I don't know about that. I'd probably grant him that Krolo's a little bit smarter than them. Like, I, I, you mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to prove it. But, uh, like, I personally feel like that. But just claiming it like it's objective reality, bro. Mm. He will dissect them with ease and implement a strategy to deal with them. Of which there are many options because the troop have a wide array of wind conditions as opposed to the singular condition of the Royal Guard. And the first of which comes in the, the form of The fluoride in the water is damaging the power scale. <laughs> <laughs> there is, like, no... Keep in mind, by the way. Hunter, Hunter power he is an often overlooked... While we're watching this, the, um, time, But under these conditions, his nan ability the, the is video, the creator, a refresh creator he's like British. British. Whereby his aura oh. increases with every rotation of his arm, allowing <laughs> him to punch an opponent to 12 he's not too up pretty there. much any force. In theory, there is no limit to Fink's ability. He could just keep rotating on and on and on into eternity, potentially reaching the point where he could even one-punch man Meruem out of yep. existence. The trade-off is, of course, the time it takes to prepare his attacks, which to dispatch of a royal guard will be a pretty incredible amount of rotations. I mean, to beat a basic Nen using Chimera and Fink's used 15 rotations, although he did What's go on to say that less than half of that would have been necessary. So if he got that number up into the hundreds, perhaps even thousands, we no, are undoubtedly looking at a pretty oh, dead royal guard on impact. That. And a prime go, target go to a is is really 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 fragile. Really. UP is much more of a tank, so using Ripple Cyclotron on him I'm could be a bit to the I'm not gonna suggest any illegal websites. Yeah, yeah. No, no suggesting, don't, but... No. Add don't in front of what you were about to say, then you can say it. Uh, don't go to Mongacy, though. Do not go to that website, no. <laughs> Risk and Poof can survive by. Oh, he's Australian. That's even worse. Target, <laughs> but it would still be a pretty devastating attack if used on any one of them. And Finks would be allowed to charge us up because the Phantom Troop have the incredible Who advantage. Who could one v one the Royal Guards? Rank the Royal Guards. So, the only one off the top of my head who actually does it, who's like a regular person, aside from Netero, of course, um, is Kilua. But Kilua doesn't actually like damage them. Kilo is just like dunking on UP. Like outspeeding him. But he doesn't damage UP at all. He's just buying time. Entity of numbers and endless ways that they could stall, kite, and distract the world. Was he getting blitzed by not even lightning speed, Kilo? Uh, he might. He was getting super blitzed by lightning speed, Kilo. But Kilo only has speed on him. And if one of them does get injured in the process, well, there's always Marchi to just string this them back up. Also, then it would be all about okay. creating an opportunity that for things. If one of them does get injured in the incredible advantage of numbers and endless ways that they could stall, the way, kite, this. and distract the royal guard. And if one of them does get injured in the process, well, there's always Marchi to just string them back up. Then it would be like, all about creating an opportunity for things to strike. But the best part is that after the initial Ripper Cyclotron, the remaining guards would of course be wary of things. At which point, Crawler could just take his ability. And while the guards are wary of things, Crawler could just quietly charge up a second round of Ripper Cyclotron in the background because it really is one of the more absurd abilities in the series. And it's also not the only win condition that Phantom Troop have. In fact, it's not even the easiest condition to meet. And here we now turn to Crawler himself, who has an ability called Fun Fun Cloth, which he stole from Al, one of the uh, the Shadow Beasts. And as far as we know, Al is still alive, and Crawler still has the Fun Fun Cloth in his book. And just quickly, because Crawler gets, uh, well, he gets complicated in combat, the abilities he has okay. access to in this hypothetical are restricted to the ones we've seen up until the Chimera Antar, so or ones that he can borrow from fellow troop members. Right? And this is relevant because in the manga, Ripper he now has this whole slew of Hatsu, which we will just temporarily forget about for the sake of this video. Doesn't matter no anyway, though, because Fun Fun Cloth is capable of shrinking anyone who ends up in it so and effectively traps no them until the user yet. decides to uncover them. It's almost like being stuck in a pocket dimension, and if it were to take effect, then that does take one whole royal guard out of the fight. And it would probably be best used on either Pito or Yuki. Shiapuf is a problem once again because even if he does get shrunk, he can potentially escape the cloth through the Beelzebub ability, in the same manner by which he slipped through Moral Smoky Jail. He's a very, very slippery butterfly. Poof is by far the biggest problem to the troop, but only in that it's very difficult to kill him, not so much that he's particularly threatening in any way. Meanwhile, Yuki can be easily outsmarted, and Pito operates on sheer natural instinct, neither of which are phenomenal options against the entirety of the Phantom Troop. So what's another way to potentially deal with the Royal Guard? Well, we also have a fairly obvious option with Shalnark's Black Voice. There's something quite beautiful about pure manipulation, which is that, once the conditions have been fulfilled, that's kind of that. This if somehow the, the troop are able to equip a Royal Guard with one of Shalnark's two antennae, then they're just plain done. The only one who has any defense against it whatsoever is Nefapito, because if Pito was using Terp's core at the time, which manipulates them, then Shalnark's antennae would be unable to take control, due to the whole manipulator Black first come first serve rule. So for targets, we would be looking work. at either Yuppie or Poof. Poof might be a problem yet again, because if let's say he splits himself and we take control of one of his bodies, it's kind of unclear what would happen to the other separate Poofs. These are the one-hit KO victories, though. Landing a fully charged Ripper Cyclotron, but capturing a guard in the Fun Fun Cloth, or taking control do. of them with Black Voice. All of which are pretty fantastic options, but that doesn't mean we're out of choices, though. One fun combination to think about is actually Shizuku and Kalato, because Kalato- Like, alright, bro. Mm. 
<laughs> this? That this has a hot to notice it? dance of the serpent's bite, which rains down seemingly harmless confetti upon. Like, look how slow the confetti was going. It's not touching Pidu or you. One opponent completely harmless until one piece of paper gets stuck, after hey, which point Kalato is capable of dealing pretty severe damage, even to Nen wielding Chimera Ants. But the real beauty of this and is that Kalato doesn't okay. need to deal the finishing blow at all. What we really need are just a couple of wounds, after which point Shizuku could Oh, get closer to the mic. The my bad, my bad. Blood, yeah, I was Which does, of course, back. only work if we can keep Shizuku safe, Kalato as well for that matter, but it is a potentially devastating combination. And in terms of dealing sheer damage, I will mention Phaetan's pain You're packet, but I also think this is one of the more risky ideas. It basically allows him to transmute pain inflicted on him in battle. Where were you when I was asking? About the only example of which we have was the scorching heat of the rising sun. Oh, also, and this Phaeton's not taking work. these. The problem hits. is that it involves Phaeton actively taking damage, which uh, is yeah, very risky, okay. because he if a royal guard that. does manage to strike Phaeton or any member of the troop, really, then that could result in an instant death. Physically, the royal guard are all extraordinarily dangerous, and close combat should really be avoided unless the troop have any. So any basically, one this guy is going by Nen abilities only. Although one way the troop may be able to use the pain packing is if they damage Phaeton. That is exactly what's happening. Thank you for the five, by the way. Because the damage radius could decimate the other troop members as well. For incredible damage, I would say Benolanov is a potentially better. Option because I got one inch closer to the mic. No, I didn't. Strikes opponents at the speed of sound and is completely inescapable so long as the target is within earshot of Benolanov's beautiful music. With that said, I'm unsure if Jupiter would be powerful enough to actually take out a royal guard, which is ridiculous because it's one of like the strongest attacks we've ever seen in Hunter Hunter. But I would not be surprised to see any one of the three managing to survive it. Benolanov also has a very yeah, bro. useful ability. Benolanov, the guy who's the speed of sound, where he can allegedly sound. transform into quote different things, perhaps even mimic the bodies of others, which could be useful as a distraction. That's like his, if say like, he was able to claim to fame. That's his ultimate attack. Like that's extremely Sound speculative speed. though, and I've tried to avoid Mach that thus far because here's the thing. We still Pito. know very, very little about the full capabilities of the Phantom Troop. I mean, there are members we haven't even spoken about here at all, like Nobunaga, for example, whose Nen abilities are still completely unknown. We don't know the full extent of Franklin either, or Fate. Then what would you talk about them for? I don't understand that. Right? Like, <laughs> requirements for various different outcomes. So well, we haven't even gotten into this, this guy, but we don't know how strong he is. Yeah, like, why are we even bringing up Franklin? Like, what's he gonna do? Shoot Yuppie to death? I have to say, it isn't all that impressive. For the most part, their abilities were created to either entertain themselves or to serve a greater purpose for the king. They're not designed with a particular efficiency in mind, and certainly not for pure combat and survival. Which is why, for example, Pito has such an what? important costly healing mechanism with Dr. Blythe, whereas Manchi of the troop has a very potent and time-efficient healing ability. So not only do the Phantom Troop have access to a much, much broader pool of powers, they're also just significantly more optimized for the task at hand. And even if a couple of the troop like, members were to fall to no. the power of the Royal Guard, there's still so many of them remaining, and as long as Krolo stays alive, he will be able to formulate a winning strategy. Which is another thing to point out, I suppose. The Royal Guard do not work very well together. They each have entirely different fighting styles and varying personal motivations, and worst of all, the curse of youth and inexperience. They've only been in this world for a couple of months, and that becomes very obvious in regards to the various mistakes they make and character arcs that they need to embark on. But Meanwhile, like, the Phantom Troop are a legion of grizzled veterans. They're not as strong as the Royal Guard, but they're far more experienced. Okay, but what about Morel? Morel is even more grizzled and more of a veteran than all of the troop. And Kaluto's not a grizzled veteran. You know? Knuckles, same thing. Shoot, same thing. They were getting much more dicked on. on any challenge that comes their way, so long as that challenge is not the Ant King Meruem. This, this is literally like Afro's experience argument from the soccer sweat or yeah, the soccer moderate debate. And if you gain like experience doesn't matter if you're fighting someone you can't touch and can one shot you. Yeah. So that video pissed me off. I kind of want to make a whole like troop versus royal guards video, but I don't know. I feel like it's been done to death. There's also oh. another video that he has. Where he just straight up says that Hisoka would just beat Pidu in a boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up, that's exactly what he says. All he's doing is talking win cons. Yeah, no, like, he was being so charitable to the Phantom Troop. And being so cynical about the Royal Guard. Like, yeah. It was the most biased shit I've ever seen in my life. This would literally be better. Like, if he, if he titled the video Phantom Troop versus Royal Guards equals stats. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, then this, this video would make perfect sense. The Phantom Troop versus the Royal Guard. Yeah. Yeah. 
Who sent me this? <laughs> oh, the Kakazu scan? Yeah, I don't know, Chris. I found it myself. Haha. <laughs> no, no, Chris sent it to me. My mod, Chris, yes. All right, y'all. So next person who donates, Six and I will debate whatever it is. So long as it's not like some Hitler shit, so. Yeah. <laughs> this man, here's a curveball for you. How about Hiruzen before he died versus Itachi and Kisame when they first appeared? I'm not taking Heroes in if it gives them to me. Itachi. How about this? How about this? How about y'all in the donation pick me in swag side? Like pick who has to now, take it. I me. did say I did say that we would do it, so I'm not gonna hold this man who just spent five dollars like that. Alright, alright. You won the last batch. We'll reset the scoreboard here. But Okay. Oh, it's Itachi and Kisame, by the way. Not just Itachi. God damn it. Like, okay. Chick-fil-A versus Popeyes? Oh, that is an easy sweep. Anyway, uh... Man, that's just not even close for Popeyes. I mean, no, it's not close for Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is just say, better. I was about to say, hmm? Chick-fil-A gets uh, wiped out, bro. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. See, I was saying the opposite of that. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this after. Okay, so three, two... Oh, wait, I'm going to count you down for Itachi and Kiswame versus Hiruzen. Three. Oh, uh, wait, who, wait, who, which side do I have? Itachi and Kisame... Uh, okay. I have here is in three, two, one, go. Um, it's just stated that Itachi is stronger than Orochimaru. Beyond that, he beats the Hydra. The Hydra is literally stated to be stronger than Orochimaru as well. Here's in is not. Oh, it's when they first show up. Okay, yeah, well I'll then. start yeah. over. There you go. Okay. Uh, you know, Itachi is stated stronger than Orochimaru. Orochimaru is equal to or stronger than Hiruzen. He does say Hiruzen would have been stronger than him if they fought 10 years ago, but currently he was stronger, which is why Hiruzen resorted to sealing him instead of actually outright beating him. And then Kisame is just extra support for chakra absorption and whatnot. Sukuyomi negs Hiruzen. Uh, Madarasu stated to burn everything on heaven and earth, so it killed Hiruzen. Um... And Itachi's just that nigga. Here's is also old with low stamina. All right. So here's where it gets crazy, y'all. Mm. Itachi may be stronger than Orochimaru. However, Orochimaru was packing Hashirama and Tobirama with him. Uh, and he was in beat both of them and Orochimaru with Shadow Clone Reaper Death Seals. Uh, he was in just has a Shadow Clones run up to Itachi and Kisame Reaper Death Seal them. Also, in character, Itachi would not kill Hiruzen, so um, Hiruzen wins. What type of bullshit was that at the end? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, are we doing debunk rounds still or no? Yeah, we can. All right, three, two, one, go. Um, what'd you say? Oh, Swag never scaled Here's in speed anywhere. Um, even though Here's in was fighting the second and first Hokage, they were both Edo Tensei and nerfed beyond belief. So it's not like that's a feat for Here's in or anything. Um, and the Reaper Dead Seal is not going to work if, um, 
you know, if he's not fast enough to tag Itachi, which he's likely not, and, you know, Itachi used Tsukiyomi and everything or whatever to get rid of him. Hiruzen just won't look at his eyes. Um, also, Hiruzen has stated multiple times to be the uh, strongest ninja in the Leaf Village uh, in that arc. And um, Kakashi is able to swap hands with Itachi and Guy straight up blitzes Kisame. Uh, Itachi also, when Guy shows up, just gets scared and runs away and uh, leaves. Uh, so, yeah, Hiruzen should just uh, blitz him and uh, Reaper Death Seal him. Itachi swapping hands with Kakashi is a crazy lie. Louise is like, Kirzen is also said to be a pussy, though. <laughs> Smug cock. <laughs> How strong do you think a perfect sage Jiraiya would be? He would be, like, tough, but I don't know if it would be a massive increase. Y'all just dick eating. Y'all just like Itachi. Y'all complain that I'm what? an Uchiha simp, but y'all are Uchiha simps. Dick eating, dick eating. <laughs> oh, bro, you got to start making them noises. Okay. Yeah, You're about to clip the fuck out of you. Oh, my God. You <laughs> clip this nigga. He can't get away with what he just did. Nah, bro, I just uh, ejected 1% out of the poll completely somehow. So uh, I went by like outer versal hacks. 1% right. is outer versal. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Popeyes versus Chick fil A. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going first. All right, y'all. Y'all are not ready for this. First of all, Popeyes is open on Sunday, okay? A lot of the time when I get fast food, it's on a Sunday. Second of all, Popeyes has really, 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 really good sweet tea. Third, I don't like Chick-fil-A's chicken nuggets that much or chicken strips, but that's kind of contentious. But I think that Popeyes has better fries. The waffle fries at Chick-fil-A are ass. The uh, chicken strips at uh, Popeyes are a lot crispier. And also, the sauce at Popeye's is, like, infinitely better. All right. Three, two, one, go. Chick-fil-A sauce is clearly the best fast food sauce ever invented. What? Popeye's is also a known what? dirty restaurant. The employees what? frequently drop food on the floor and then will still serve it to you. I had a friend who worked at Popeye's. His name is Troy. I frequently stream with him and, and you know, do YouTube videos with him. He can attest to this, so I'm not just bullshitting. Um... Also, Chick-fil-A not being open on Sunday isn't a problem. That just means you should get it any other day of the week. It's more exclusive. That makes it a bit more valuable. Exclusivity determines value in our world. So for that reason, Chick-fil-A is better than Popeye's. Okay. So, um... One, Popeye's being dirty does not mean that all Popeye's are dirty. That is the uh, one-to-whole fallacy or part-to-whole fallacy. Uh, you'd have to prove that every Popeye's in the country or in the world is dirty, which uh, you simply can't do. Uh, I've seen some dirty Popeye's, but uh, most of the Popeye's that I go to are pretty cool. And I just think the quality of the food significantly, substantially outweighs Chick-fil-A's. And again, you can get it on Sunday. Can't get uh, Chick-fil-A on Sunday. All right, come you down. Three, two, one, go. Swag already admitted to seeing a few dirty Popeyes. I don't know exactly how many Popeyes he's been to, but I was just making a general argument that Popeyes in general is dirty. While on the other hand, you can never find a dirty Chick-fil-A. Um, about the fries, the fries at Chick-fil-A are clearly better along with their sauce. And like I said, it was never it was never addressed that um, Chick-fil-A being open only or not open on Sunday was an actual plus in its favor for exclusivity. So that argument went uncontested, um, which implicitly would mean that Swag agrees right. with it. No. All right. Swag or six. Somebody asked... Uh... Asura from Asura's Wrath versus Before Canon Broly. 
Asura is like really strong, but I don't know if he scales to Broly. But Asura is like insane. He's like being like galaxy chuckers and stuff. Galaxy Ray, oh, y'all know what's up. Let's go. Let's Dirt go. adds flavor. Oh, you niggas are fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh, shit. Get the one for me. No, bro, it did not flip like that. No, he just called y'all disgusting. Don't let him get away I with call, that. No, I'm calling the dirty Popeyes niggas no, disgusting. No, no, he called y'all disgusting. Don't let him get away with it. The dirty Popeye niggas, you niggas Let's are disgusting. Let's go! Let's go, you lost. You lost. Saying Scholar up, versus bro? New World Order? I think you meant New World Review. New World Order is like... The Third Reich. Six is spitting, but I'm a dirty motherfucker. I don't know if Saiyan Scholar is beating the Third Reich. The Third Reich? Yeah, so he said uh, Saiyan Scholar versus New World Order. I think he meant to say New World Review, but New World Order is uh, the Third Reich. Alright, let me see. McDonald's versus Burger King, but it's 3 a.m. They're close. Bro, can we, can we not do any more fast food debates? <laughs> Bro. Especially the McDonald's versus Burger King. At least I eat Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. Cyberman physical stats only versus War Arc Sakura? <laughs> what does physical stats only mean? Like, no hacks? No bomb? ACM2 Naruto is Sage Mo versus Madara or Hashirama. All right, bro. You better hope you don't get uh Sakura. Sakura? Who said where's Sakura? Cyberman versus Sakura. Bro, Chris, can you get this Jason nigga out of chat? He's spamming. All right, I got Cyberman. Good luck. You got him. All right. Wait, we're doing Sakura versus Cyberman. Yep, and I got Cyberman. All right, I'm starting. No. So the Cyberman uh, drastically outscales a uh, version of Piccolo who was able to destroy the moon um, and is uh, equal to roughly uh, Raditz in terms of power level who was just way too strong for Piccolo to fight. And again, Piccolo was able to bust the moon, a feat that Sakura is just not even able to come close to being in contention with, especially not in the war, which takes place before the Kaguya fight. All right, three, two, one, go. Um, the war is actually part of the Kaguya fight. So Sakura would have the feat of scaling the Kaguya, punching Kaguya in the head, which would actually scale her to hyper mega multiversal, especially considering she scales above Kagazu, who, as we all know, has just <laughs> raw durability hacks that would overcome anything the Cyberman could even hope of dishing out. And they have no raw durability hex, so Sakura gets directly through their durability. Alright, so as for raw durability hacks, hold on. I'm going to pull up a video. trying to find a ship oh my god i accidentally just swallowed like a complete warhead <laughs> like the whole shit bro all right so let's watch this footage from the manga watching footage no this is cheating no this is cheating this is cheating run a poll run a poll i want my poll no. can we watch footage can we watch footage all right yeah let me do it keep in mind i never bring up any footage never did that damn 
Anton versus Muriel from Courage the Cowardly Dog, bro. Thank for, thanks for the 20, Moses. Bro, what are you doing? Manga allowed, manga not allowed. We're this talking about manga. footage. We're talking about footage. This is manga, bro. Ooh, ooh. No, this is... Okay, this is manga, by the way, right, chat? Yeah, we're watching the manga right now, Spooder Spider Cow. Chris, as a mod, is saying uh, this clip goes hard. I'll allow it. <laughs> All right, now for this next poll. For whether or not this is manga footage. <laughs> Bro, both of the odds. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. It looks like it's, it's like it's 100% in your favor. <laughs> All right, that's crazy. So let's look at the Cyberman. Sorry to keep you waiting. So already we have the Cyberman scaling. Already he's scaling, bro. He's literally okay. damaging. Him. Like, bro, Vegeta is getting lit. Whoever is playing Vegeta in this one is so ass. I don't know what you're talking about. This is real footage from the Dragon Ball Z. Okay, chat. I think we can all agree. If there's a feat, it's going to be this. The beam struggle. God damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. Alright, bro, go ahead and make your argument, bro, because you're making arguments outside of the 30-minute time limit. Nah, I'm just... Everybody said it was allowed. You're right. I won't make arguments, though. I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Somebody said that GT is not canon. No, this is Dragon Ball Z. The manga. That's crazy that he made Vegeta look like that. All right, so 30 seconds. So as we just saw, the Cyberman massively outscaled Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who uh, in Dragon Ball Heroes, the Dragon Ball Heroes arc of the Dragon Ball Z manga, is like... Um, fifth dimensional maybe eighth dimensional and also as we all know sakura damaging kaguya was like total bullshit it was pis uh you know it doesn't make any sense it's not consistent it's an outlier and this kaguya being multiversal is just nonsense she's like multi-continental because she'd lose kakuya who's multi-continental okay three two one None of this actually counters the raw durability hack Sakura has that Vegeta will have to encounter that he's never encountered before that he cannot overcome. Also, being multiversal does not get you over super mega hyper multiversal like Sakura scales to just because she scales to Kaguya. Kaguya being a being that can create infinite raw durability across multiple realities, six different realities that she can all connect to and destroy via a giant true secret orb that Sakura actually punched away. 
So for that reason, Sakura you're would. You just lied. Sakura didn't punch it away. She didn't even hit Kaguya. Sounds like you're making arguments outside the debunk ground. No, I'm just saying you lied. That's an argument. Bro. <laughs> All right, who y'all got? The Cyberman or Sakura? Bro. Thank oh, you guys for recognizing the raw durability. Uh, this that Vegeta or not sorry Vegeta, but the Cyberman just simply cannot overcome. Yo, I'm about to send you this video. That's uh, me right now. <laughs> the Royal Guard versus Naruto and Sasuke Part One. Let's see. Let's see. All right, six <laughs> got it. Moderate with Nine Tails Classic Sano versus Naruto KCM Two No Sage Mode. <laughs> Let me see. No, <laughs> 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 nah, the way he goes, nee, 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 nee. like, bro. <laughs> the six have a Twitch? No. I stream Don't on miss YouTube. Don't my dono? Oh, what do you say, Simply Pump? I got you. Oh, KCM2 Naruto with Sage Mode? Oh, no, no, no. We're about to hit it. KCM2 Naruto with Sage Mode versus Madara or Hashirama? Um, I'll take either side on this. <laughs> I don't know, because this is something I'm actually not sure how I feel about. KCM2 Sage Naruto is really fucking strong. I don't even know if I want to debate this. What do you think? About, like, the question. You can argue for either side. Yeah. Make solid arguments, so. I agree. Because Hashirama, like, compares himself to KCM Naruto. And then Naruto gets Sage Mode. And they both have Sage Mode. And then Madara's, like, relative. Would be cool to hear a 1v1 no Rinnegan Obito versus Sage Kabuto if you think there's any discussion there. Obito smacks him. Like, Obito's literally, like, nonsense strong. Yeah, Obito is pretty fucking powerful. How long is Kakashi with a Renegal? Hmm. Wow. Fucking choked on another warhead again. All right, Moses. 10 10 versus Muriel. I have not seen Courage the Cowardly Dog in a minute. But I feel like 10 10's got this. Okay, so these next two in a row are stomps. The Sound 5 versus the Konoha 11. They get fucking destroyed. The Sound 5, yeah. I mean. Now, this next one is crazy. Kawaki and Boruto versus the Konoha 12 of Part 1. <laughs> <laughs> And the cut of the 12 would get so ran through. Like, oh my god. Either one of them could solo that team. Yeah. With one arm. And no yeah, legs. One arm. No karma. What are y'all's thoughts on Dreams getting packed into Oblivion? I think people should be nicer to him because he looks fine, but it is funny. I don't like Dream, particularly. But, uh... I don't what know. did Dream do? I thought he was just a Minecraft YouTuber. Yeah, he revealed his face and people are packing him for it. Oh, yeah, I know that, but why don't you like him? No, I'm, I'm like, I don't hate him. I just don't particularly like him. 
I don't have oh. feelings about him either way. I think he said some like racist shit or whatever, but I don't know. The Royal Guard versus Naruto and Sasuke Part 1. It's been a minute since I watched Hunter x Hunter. But Final Valley, Naruto, and Sasuke are fucking strong. Is Sasuke yeah. a lightning timer with Chidori? Don't really know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, If so, he should be above the Royal Guard, but otherwise, I don't know. Madara with nine tails clad Susano versus Naruto KCM2 no sage mode Karama avatar with Sasuke Susano armor. Without sage mode, that's a very interesting question. That's like unquantifiable. I feel like you basically just have to rationalize how strong. Uh, Naruto and Sasuke's majestic attire is without the sage mode amp. And I think it would probably be enough to beat Madara, but Ma no, Madara does have the full nine tails, so I don't know. The Sanin versus the Royal Guard? Well, the Sanin definitely clap him up. Marilyn's barely cracking like mountain level. <laughs> now this next one is comedy. Uncle Ruckus versus Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Bruce um, Lee. I haven't really um seen too many Boondocks episodes. I used to watch it a lot when I was a kid. That shit is so funny. How strong is Naruto in terms of AP and speed? I don't know now. End of series, you can literally scale him anywhere from like country level or island level to like multiversal, depending on like how you, whether you low ball him or high ball him. Right? You agree with that six? I'm not capping. My bad, bro. Um, I, How bro, I keep is Naruto like, in terms of way. AP and speed? I said, I don't know about Boruto, but end of series, low ball, like island or country level, that's like maximum low ball, maximum high ball is like multiversal. Yeah. Yeah, that's the maximum high ball. That is a crazy wank, though. Yeah. I think it's reasonable to get him up to solar system. With the true secret or but that's still kind of out there. Most people wouldn't agree with you if you told them that. Yeah, it is. It is an insane, insane highball. The argument just exists, basically. Actually, if you like really argue some Naruto shit, like highball the hell out of it, you can definitely get them to outer reversal. Yeah. Like, with that fucking Sasuke Orochimaru ritual shit. That shit is crazy. Yeah, that, the fucking pain transcends life and death. Yeah. <laughs> Kakashi is omnipotent. End of series soccer as well, though. <laughs> uh, Sage Kabuto with no reanimations versus War Arc Sage Naruto that fought the third Raikage. Sage Kabuto. 100%. It's not that I don't think Naruto is strong, but you got to keep in mind, Kabuto fought Sasuke and Itachi at the same time. And was not losing. Apparently, you didn't read. <laughs> he did lose, but he wasn't, like, losing for the first half. Um, like, they were even. No, he, was, he was losing. What? They were even. Itachi was just setting up Izanami. Uh, nah, you were an Itachi. I mean, uh, like, yes, yeah, so, so he was setting up Izanami. But I think that's why I would argue that Kabuto is losing. Yeah, I guess. Boruto Kakashi versus Orochimaru. Boruto Kakashi is strong. 
he is like very an very anime strong. based on what koji says i didn't think i'd have to risk my life to get this anime or, uh, not animation uh, information is such a crazy anime statement that was uh kakashi yeah that's what i'm saying about no, no koji said that about kakashi that's what I'm, i know i'm saying about kakashi being strong i thought he said orochimaru boruto kakashi versus orochimaru oh i thought you said boruto orochimaru no i guess it would be both of them naruto versus yusuke i haven't finished yu yu hakusho yet but um I feel like based on the scope of that series, from what I can tell, it should be Naruto. Yeah. But, it does seem like a weak verse. I, I feel you. Uh, healthy Kimimaro CM2 versus Kisame. Curse Mark 2 Healthy Kimimaro? Bro. You gotta chill out there. You gotta relax. Versus Kisame, though. Hmm. I mean, like, if base Edo Kimimaro was fighting KCM Naruto, granted, KCM Naruto, like, didn't have a means to seal him, but. It was also a clone. Yeah. If you, like, highball Kimimaro, you can get him above Kisame, but I think Kisame is the more reasonable answer. Reason aren't going Go on and Krillin smack him, bro. Yeah. Madara gets spanked. Especially if it's like Frieza fight Gohan. Oh my god. Naruto start of Shippuden versus part one Valley of the End Naruto cloaked. Start of Shippuden Naruto should be stronger. I think it's a good fight, but I think like the giant Rasengan and shit would just pack uh, Valley of the End Naruto up. Who can do more push-ups in a row? You or six? Probably six. I think I can do like 20. Not many. Kimimaro strong? Yeah, he is. Don't get it twisted. Six is still a gas giant. What does that mean? They're calling you Saturn, bro. <laughs> Kisame versus Ross and Shirk and Naruto. Well, if the Ross and Shirk and hits Kisame, he dies, but he probably just absorbed that shit. Nah, it is CQC. I don't know. Kisame's fast. He was able to move in sync with 7th Gate Guy. Though he does get, like, beat up bad by 7th Gate Guy, so I don't know if he scales. Base Boruto versus Pain? Boruto. Next question. Jigen you got base Boruto over Pain, really? Yeah. Odd. Okay. Boro. Boro is weak as hell, bro. To be honest with you. Abilities that surpass deltas. I mean, yeah, he's got poison and shit. But I mean, by that logic, do you think base Boruto is stronger than six pass Sage Mode Naruto? I guess so, and I guess Naruto just got stronger after that. That doesn't make any sense. I know. But... <laughs> Jigen versus Hagoromo. Jigen bodies him. I just don't think that there's any like unless you used like the Kag the line of scaling that uh Ishiki was like supposed to be relative to Kaguya, which is contradicted by the statements about Momoshiki, then there's just no one in Shippuden who can keep up with uh Jigen and Ishiki. Not Chris. Okay, bro, six. Chris hates that fucking Boro ability statement so much. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything. It's so vague, too. 
Oh, wait. Hold on. I gotta show them the Delta. Please don't, bro. I do not feel like talking about Delta right now. Oh, okay. They're okay. about to get on me. They're about to be like, oh my god, Naruto is holding back. <laughs> <laughs> DMS Kakashi versus all of Shippuden up to that point? Well, if you take out Kaguya, DMS Kakashi wins. He cannot kill Kaguya in time, though. Chris says, no, I hate how you use it. Yeah, bro. Boro is like, I mean, like, just think about it, like, narratively. Like, bro, he's a Kara inner. He's not even an outer. He's a fucking inner. And his abilities exceed Delta's. Boro's just strong. It's just stupid. Orochi Maru with Sharingan versus members of the Akatsuki. Also Salfic. Would someone in Sage Mode be affected by a Genjutsu since they can use natural energy to sense things around them? No, Genjutsu works on people in Sage Mode. Like, Kabuto literally has to turn off his eyesight uh, to not get affected by Sukuyomi. Unlimited 8 Gates guy versus Momoshiki. Momoshiki beats him up. Unlimited eight gauge guy. That's crazy. Yeah, but Momoshiki still beats him up. Yeah, yeah. Momoshiki's gonna whip his ass. Orochibaru with Sharigod versus members of the Akatsuki. If he has a fully developed Mangekyo, Orochimaru runs through him. Yeah, hey, I agree with that. Maybe Obito still beats him though. <laughs> Calmly. <laughs> Is it ever explained why Orochimaru never stole any Sharingan before the Uchiha massacre, like when he lived in the Leaf? Probably because he would have been killed, like, by Prime Hiruzen. Like, the Uchiha would not have stood for that. Like, Orochimaru was breaking the law, but I think he would have created, like, one of the most tense political situations ever if he had stepped on the Uchiha's toes. Because they were all. Wait, what, what was the question? Why Orochimaru never stole any Sharingan while he lived in the Leaf? Oh, I mean, yeah, he, he he wanted the body as well. Yeah, that's the thing. And and by the time he figured out how to body swap, all the Uchiha were dead. Yeah. I mean, I guess it would have made sense for him to at least, like, take some Sharingan and put him in a vial. But again, I think that, like, there's just no way he was doing that without, like... Because if he did it, then Hiruzen would have killed him. And he knows Hiruzen would have killed him because if Hiruzen didn't kill him, Hiruzen would have been committing, uh, committing political suicide, right? The Uchiha clan was, like, really, really, really sensitive. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Non-debate. Uh, swag and six spelled SOG. I make AMVs, and hopefully you'll enjoy this at your leisure. I love both of your work vids are on my page i recommend the berserk my brother i'll watch the amvs off stream because i don't want to get dmca'd appreciate <laughs> the 20 though buddy mikoko pops 50 personally i need your opinion on hokage naruto's design because he actually is my favorite also i want to say that's because as an 18 year old who works at a gas station your vids be helping me pass the time thanks you Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, I um, I had videos that helped me uh through periods like that while I would do work, um, like at fucking Steak and Shake or whatever. Whenever I could sneak in uh headphones and like have them not tell me to take them off, um, but Hokage Naruto's design I like, but um, uh, Boruto Sasuke's design is cooler, and Sasuke just flat out looks better in the last than Naruto does. That's not up for debate. The one fucking, you know that one Naruto designer like, oh, I wish we would have gotten this in Boruto and it's him in the Jonin outfit and shit from the Jiraiya yeah. flashback? That one is so ass. I, I hate that design so much. Hokage 2 through 5 and 1 MS Kakashi versus Sage Mode Hashirama. Hashirama.
Orange Piccolo versus Tournament of Power Topo. Bro, Topo dies. Yeah. Topo would get his shit crushed. People really overestimate Jiren and Topo nowadays. Well, especially because in the movie, they just straight up retconned what happened and said that Jiren was like relative to them in power. Do you think that room full of Sharingans Obito had is still there? Shit, maybe. Fuck. Yeah, it has to be. Who would... I guess Sasuke could eventually go and... Take it out. Yusuke, by the end of the series, is easily planet level and would destroy Naruto with one spirit gun. Yeah, but Naruto is also easily planet level. War arc 5 Kage from each nation versus all of the Akatsuki? Nah. The Akatsuki is smoking them. Like, just Itachi versus the Akatsuki is a debate. Pain runs through the Akatsuki by himself. Pain runs through the Akatsuki? The five, Pain runs through the 5 Kage by himself. My bad. I'm sleepy. Yeah. Hey, Swag, I know you like Yu-Gi-Oh, so I was curious if you like custom cards at all. Just a sec. You have some? They're heat. Just wait, bro. They're not ready. All right, bro. Yo, dueling book, load. Come on. It's really not loading on me. I gotta show y'all these custom cards. About to have your life changed. Okay. Boy Scout Swag versus Alcoholics Anonymous 6. <laughs> Alright, so we got PP. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. If you control a dark level 3 monster, you can reveal this card in your hand, special summon this card. If this card is special summoned, you can add one poo poo from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of PP once per turn. Then. Bro, this card can't be good, bro. It's good. I made it. That's decent anyway. It would be like, it would have been solid a few years ago. And then, Poo Poo. You can reveal this card and one other level 3 fiend type monster in your hand except Poo Poo. Special summon this card. If this card is special summoned, you can add one PP from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Poo Poo once per turn. Moses Williams, $50. No debate, but for real, you two plus Daddy Seth are the actual goats. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, also, bud. bruh, thank you for the $2. Now that Sasuke only has one eye, unless that changed, I'm a bit behind. Is there any way for Sasuke to get two EMS? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Or could she only get one from him? Only one. Because it's not like she could take the damage die and it would fix itself. Juby Jinchuriki Naruto with the Renegon versus all the Otsutsuki one after the other? I don't know. That's like mega unquantifiable. Naruto would probably be strong. 
Yeah, Epicness of Legends. That was intended to be Burning Abyss support when I made it. Kakazu Arik Naruto versus Adult Konohamaru. I don't know. Like, the Boruto characters are strong. Like, weirdly, randomly strong for no reason. If Naruto kept Shisui's eye, would it have made any difference in the story? I don't know if it would have worked on the main enemies of Boruto. Also, you and Six keep up the great work. Thank you. Shisui's eye? Yeah. Kodomo Matsukami. Uh. Chris just sent me a DM of poo poo up on the screen. Konohamaru beat Jugo in that one episode? That's true. Single Jugo was kind of fodder. Single body Nagato versus KCM2 Naruto. Nagato probably loses. What are your thoughts on how Sasuke could have used the Naraka path to heal himself and get his arm back? Is he stronger with his arm? Do you think Sasuke would get a new Sharingan from Obito's stash? I think he should just go get a new Sharingan. I think he intentionally did not heal his arm just as like a memory of the consequences of all the stuff he did. Okay, $5 from Exabyte. Dominoes versus Papa John's at max power. I got Dominoes. Old Dominoes was terrible, but like current Dominoes, Papa John's is ass. I hate both of them. Uh, just... mm, dom yeah, if I had to choose Dominoes. Pizza Hut's definitely better. I also really like Jets. Jets? I've never heard of that. It's basically like a deep dish like chain pizza place. Okay. Do you like Yu-Gi-Oh scaling? I've heard people say that the god cards are low multiversal because of backscaling from GX. No, Yu-Gi-Oh scaling is insane, bro. Sage Alive Minato versus Sage Kabuto. Bro, Kabuto is getting packed up. Gear 5 Luffy versus Prime Naruto. I appreciate the $2 who you 420. I don't know. Naruto from the last versus TN using multiform technique. Well, if it's TN from Dragon Ball Super, Naruto gets cooked. Has the Sasuke Retsuden manga announced the other day? BS? No, it's not. Y'all need to eat Papa Murphy's, one of the best pizza places. Uh, Alright, I believe you. I work at Domino's. Here's a tip for the free ad. Thank you. No, I mean, I, I think Domino's is decent. A tip for the free ad. Yeah. <laughs> like he owns it. <laughs> for real, bro. Boruto Kage versus Toneri. Uh, Toneri loses. Kuratsuchi just kicks him in the face, bro. Smacks him. Domino's versus Madara? You think Madara eats a full Domino's pizza and is uh, able to avoid going to the toilet? Mm, I mean, <laughs> no, he's human. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, there you have it. Madara loses to Domino's. Naked Doomslayer versus full armored Master Chief? Bro, what? Unless I'm missing some crazy doom scaling, Master Chief bodies him. Who is smarter, Jimmy Neutron or Light Yagami? It, like, Jimmy. Tien from the tournament? Like, the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai? Uh, then it would be the last Naruto. 
Yeah, but Tien is not strong whatsoever. Yeah. Well, he does outscale Roshi, who's moon level. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But still. It's like an outlier, though, is the thing. Taco Bell versus Choji. I think Choji can handle Taco Bell. I can handle Taco Bell. I've had Taco Bell multiple times and not had to go to the bathroom. Doom Slayer scaling is so terrible. Yeah, I feel like it. Warwick Neji versus Edo, Haku, and Zabuza. I don't know how you would scale him to them, but he could probably do it. He just doesn't have any way of sealing them. Mr. Beast versus PewDiePie. Mr. Beast follows me. And also, as far as I'm aware, has not had a moment like PewDiePie had on that bridge. Very unfortunate moment. <laughs> I instantly knew what you were talking about. <laughs> Denny's versus IHOP. I'm gonna be real, bro. Breakfast restaurants are like a scam. Yeah. Both of those in particular are pretty bad. Yeah, I agree. Now, do you remember IHOP when they tried to become like a burger place? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shit was mad. That troll ass man. shit. Yeah. Bro, somebody said the great Naruto bridge about the, be <laughs> the beauty by the. <laughs> God damn it. Waffle House? Now, Waffle House is actually good, like, breakfast restaurant. Yeah. Waffle, Waffle, House, Waffle House is good. It's yeah. the only good one. Yeah. I'm so glad you agreed with me there, bro. Like, Waffle House at the right time actually, like, saves my life sometimes. Yeah. McDonald's versus Burger King. Yo, it's Derek Irwin again. <laughs> McDonald's versus Burger King. They're away, Derek. Six tails in Turkey, Hinata versus Sage Mo Sakura. Experience is irrelevant. <laughs> mm, Hinata. <laughs> yeah. Five Guys versus Shake Shack. I've never been to Shake Shack. I um. I went to Shake Shack a few years ago. It, it's definitely worse than Five Guys. I got a uh, coupon for Shake Shack, but the closest Shake Shack to me was like. Or it was like a gift card, but the closest one was like an hour or two away was the problem. So I never went. Have I seen the Boruto parody by Shroom's Day? Nah. Yeah, I did watch the 20th anniversary remake of all of the seeds of Naruto. It was awesome. Kisame versus Jiraiya is a good question. Um... If you like... You can highball Jiraiya, I think. I think that you can take that statement and put Jiraiya above Kisame. The thing is, Kisame doesn't really, like... I think everybody agrees that he's number four in the Akatsuki, but it's hard to definitively place him above anyone else. Because he doesn't really have super strong scaling to anybody else. Like, he loses to B on purpose... He doesn't have Samehata against Guy. He's 30% against Guy the second time. He runs away uh, when Itachi asks him to from Guy and Jiraiya. Like, Kisame never goes all out is the thing. How much would you have to get to do a tier list of how nagged Naruto character would be by if the sexy jutsu, harm jutsu, reverse harm jutsu was used on them? So, like, a horniness tier list? Probably a lot. <laughs> Thomas the Train versus Ghetto Mazo. Yo, hold on. One sec. No way about to look up Thomas the Train feats. Hey, bro. Don't hate.
<laughs> just at top speeds. Superhuman physical characteristics, vehicular physiology. Light manipulation sounds way stronger than it actually is. Hold on, wait. Thomas the Tank Engine lost to the Christopher Nolan Bane? Bane? Yeah, from the Christopher Nolan movies. Uh, speed was equalized. Why would you equalize oh. speed against Thomas the Tank Engine? Damn, Thomas is weak as fuck. Yeah. I assumed he would be like a Giga, Giga cartoon character. Yo, is there like a random page? Neji versus a piece of wood. The wood is thorny. Aw, oh, shit. Yo, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin being small building level is insane. No, Peter's at least universal. I believe that too. Peter lost to Ditto? How? Peter lost the fucking sands. Speed was equalized, of course. No way. They have a page for Retep? Who is Retep? Oh, oh, Peter's Evil like... Evil Peter. Back, backwards shit, yeah. My name is Retep, and I am evil. Three Egyptian god cards versus all of Naruto. Hold on a sec, bro. Just wait till you see this shit. High 7C, 2C. So, bro goes from town level to low multiverse level. Just for Damn. no reason. So, unless you actually scale Naruto to low multiversal, the Egyptian gods, all three of them win. Lalo Salamanca versus Walter White. Bro, like, Lalo jumps off of, like... Uh, have you guys seen that, like, Mario shit that Lalo does? Where he jumps, like, a fucking, like, 30-foot drop? Walter. Wow. <laughs> what was that? Walter. Oh, Mike? Yeah. yeah. No, Finger. Kid named Finger. Oh. If that's your real name. The One Piece. Okay, Derek Irwin keeps saying Stevie versus Bart. I think he's trying to say Stewie. He thinks his name is Stevie. Can we get much higher? So high. Neji versus Shino at the tuning exams? Neji wins. <laughs> Breaking Bad fans when they see a meth addict is so funny. It's like the picture of SpongeBob just glued to the glass window. <laughs> Kanye donned a metal nerf versus Drake. Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. Drake is so ass, no? Yeah.
How the fuck are you multiverse level and massively hypersonic? You just gotta take it away at that point, bro. Like you don't deserve it. <laughs> Get your fucking speed up, nigga. Yeah. No, it doesn't even make sense. Like your hits would have to like generate more energy than being hypersonic. How to start a YouTube scaling channel? Don't do that. Do anything else on YouTube. I didn't start this as a scaling channel. It was like a general like lore channel. And then I moved into versus battles because they're popular. Two sharing on EMS Obito versus EMS Madara. Oh, Obito's winning that fight. If he has both Sharingan and like a Susano. Godzilla and King Kong from the recent movie versus the original three-way deadlock summons. The three-way deadlock summons. Aren't Godzilla and King Kong building love? Oh, no, 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 no. They they win. The fucking King Kong in them. From the, the recent movie? Yeah, the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs hit uh, Godzilla in the face. And he just tanked it. Yeah, but I get is that shit planet level? It's it's way higher than multicontinental. Yeah. Why didn't Obito ever take back his eye and kill Kakashi? I think it was just because he still respected Kakashi. I think that, like, a part of Obito took solace in the fact that Kakashi was still alive and living a peaceful life. It's because the god cards are considered stronger than Super Poly, which threatened to destroy all 12 universes in GX. Yeah, I remember that. That shit is crazy. Look up Spongebob scaling on versus Battle Wiki. Yeah, I know. All right, after this, I'm going to go to bed. Have you seen these reanimated Naruto things? Yeah. No, they're super cool. They're pretty, yeah. Uh... This motherfucker Spongebob is massively FTL and planet level. Baby Groove versus Mario? Is it Mario, like, galaxy level? Yeah, bro, Mario has to be out of Versal. There's no fucking way Mario's been out this long he's not out of Versal. No, Mario's like galaxy. Cosmic Thor versus the Batman Who Laughs? It's weird to me that the Batman Who Laughs is like the strongest one of those alternate Batmans. Cause that yeah. shit doesn't make any sense to me. He's so cold, too. Yeah. Like, thematically, it makes sense. He's, like, the perfect fusion of them or whatever. But, like... You would think that, like, Batman with fucking Kryptonian powers would just, like, beat everybody. Also, I think Mario is... Mo okay, yeah. Mul Mario is multiversal. But I think that's Paper Mario. Yeah. Bro. Bro, there was some crazy statement. It was a long time ago. Like, it was in. I found out about it, like, when I very first got into power scaling, like, early 2020. But there was some crazy statement from the from Nintendo saying that all versions of Mario are all just the same Mario or something like that. What the fuck? Yeah, that's, that shit was stupid, man. What? Well, because what happens if like eight people pick Mario and Smash? I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't think that would qualify as multi -pre or omnipresence, but it would be like present in multiple places. I want to find that statement actually, just because I don't even scale Mario. I just want to have it. Saiyan Saga Yajirobe versus Rock Lee Yajirobe is stunting on Rock Lee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, five Kage Summit Kakashi versus Rain Village Pain. Pain. 
Pearl and Naruto Final Valley versus Boruto Team 7 plus Kawaki? What the fuck? Naruto dies. <laughs> people really underestimate the Boruto characters. It's like there's either the people that overhype the dog shit of the Boruto characters or the people who just downplay them to oblivion. Yeah. And they just don't understand how powerful they are. All right. Ugh. I think that's uh, it for the stream. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Good night, y'all. Take care.